Music City in St. Louis. All of these thanks from us are just waiting for you in your call. And remember, every time you call, you automatically become eligible to enter our Movado Gold Watch Nightly Sweepstakes. And here's Medge to tell you more about them. Thanks a lot, Donna. Well, you know, this came as a surprise to all of us and a very exciting one, I have to admit. You can possibly win an 18-karat gold Movado watch by the end of the night every time you call and make a pledge all through the rest of the night. So increase your odds and call again and again with a pledge of any amount you want. You don't have to pledge, but we hope you do. But if you're not going to spend some money on 13, then call us right after the program begins so you don't clog up the phone lines for those who want to make us a pledge. And then be back with us tonight around 11.30 when we announce two winners for the two Mavada watches that are part of our pledge raffle. Now, get to your phone right away and get yourself entered as often as you can. Back to you, Jack. No, no, you can't call 100 times with a pledge of 25 cents each time. We won't buy that, folks. But, uh, but, but the gold Movado watches, that's, that's quite an enchanting by itself. But here's another one. And that is the program that we're going to be climaxing this evening with, which all of us hope you will be able to watch as a brand new member of our station. Take a look before we go to the Glenn Miller Band Reunion. It's a once-in-a-lifetime concert celebration as the stars pay tribute to America's greatest jazz hero who became music's ambassador to the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the King of Swing, Mr. Benny Goodman. Don't miss Benny Goodman. Let's Dance, a musical tribute. If you prefer, mail your check to 13, Box 1313, New York, New York, 10101. Presentation of the Glenn Miller Band Reunion is made possible by this station and other public television stations nationwide. Additional funding has been provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. It's the Glenn Miller Band Reunion, starring original members of the Glenn Miller Civilian and Army Air Force Bands, with host Jack Jones. And special guest, Cave Star. Featuring the vocal group, String of Pearls. The Lester Wilson Dancers and all the great Glenn Miller swing hits of the 30s and 40s. I first met Glenn Miller when we both substituted in the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra on the Raleigh Cool radio program. Glenn Miller's theme song was uh, Moonlight Serenade. And the interesting thing about that was it was originally written as an exercise uh, for a composition course that he was taking at the time with a man named Schillinger. Later on, he changed it to be more rhythmical and more fitting to the band that he had formed. And it opened and closed every radio program and stage show, and it gave the band an identifying signature, so to speak. Yeah. 
and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Jack Jones. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you and welcome to the Glenn Miller Band Reunion. Now, it's been over 40 years since the plane carrying Major Glenn Miller was lost over the English Channel. But uh, the appeal of his music has shown few signs of diminishing. Now, tonight we're uh, very fortunate to have the original Glenn Miller Band sound presented on our stage by many wonderful musicians who played with the original Glenn Miller Band. And now to help uh, with the next number, let's all welcome a wonderful group of singers, String of Pearls. The stars always winking and blinking above What makes a fella start thinking of falling in love? It's not the season, the reason, it's plain as the moon It's just Albert's tune What makes a lady of 80 go out on the loose? Why does the gander meander? In search of a goose. What puts the kick in the chicken, the magic in June? It's just the Elmer's too. Listen, listen. There's a lot you liable to be missing. Sing it. The birdie, the cop on the beat, the candy maker, the baker, the man on the street. The city charmer, the farmer, the man in the moon, all sing Elmer's too. The city charmer, the farmer, the man in the moon, all sing Elmer's tune. They, they all sing Elmer's tune. They all sing Elmer's tune. They sing Elmer's In 1939, a brassy young singer, chaperoned in New York by her mother, filled in for a few weeks with the Glenn Miller Band, playing concerts and cutting two records with the hottest swing band in America. A few years later, she became America's number one singer with her hit, Wheel of Fortune. Now, here to sing both her original Glenn Miller tunes, welcome Miss Kay Starr. <laughs> With a capital U Through the day You're away And I mope and mope and mope And you do too I hope, I hope, I hope All night through It is love with a capital U Would just suit me to a capital T Dictionaries do, but I fell in love with a capital U. Baby me, come on and pet me, honey. Baby me, you know you get me when you give me that affectionate talk, like darling dearie. 
Because I love it when you baby me. The beauty of it is that I love you and you love me too. So baby, won't you baby me? Baby, won't you baby me? We enjoyed doing the radio shows because they were a uh, little added income and we were on twice, uh, three times a week for Chesterfield and uh, we did them wherever we happened to be if we on the road. You know, in Washington, D.C., we did them at the Wardman Park Hotel, which was very nice. But then again, if we'd be in a little town in uh, uh, Iowa or Virginia and there was no facility for doing the program, we did it wherever we could, in a school auditorium, or we even did it once in a boxcar in a railroad uh, terminal because there was no place to set up a band other than uh, that railroad. He wanted to feature more music and less talking, so uh, uh, we got as much music as we could in a 15-minute program, I think it was. And so instead of doing the full arrangement of each thing, that would have taken up to 15 minutes, so we we just played a little bit of each song. That's why he had that medley he called something old and something new and something borrowed and something blue. That was the theme of that uh, radio program.
Gwen gave me this horn in the army band. Uh, my horn wasn't quite up to par because Glenn's horn has a nice new light slide, which was rather unique then, which mine didn't have. And Glenn wanted me to have the best thing to play since I was the first trombone player. And so I kept the horn all the time and uh, brought it back with me and I still have it and played it ever since. She's a toast of oh, Kalamazoo. Zoo, 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 zoo. Years have gone by. My, my, how she grew. I liked her looks when I carried her books in, in Kalamazoo. Zoo, 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 zoo. I'm gonna send a wire hopping on a flyer. Leave it today. Am I screaming? I can hear her dreaming. Hiya, Mr. Jackson, everything's okay. A-L-A-M-A-C-O, oh, what a gal. A real pipperoo. I'll make my bet for that freckle-faced kid I'm hurrying to. I'm on the Michigan to see the sweetest gal. Kalamazoo. The band is taking a brief break while we go to our local stations. Remember, we want you to be our partners in supporting television worth talking about. We cannot do it without you. Now, don't go away. We'll be right back with three more sets of hit swing tunes in the Glenn Miller Band Reunion. Da 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 In case you didn't realize it, this is the final weekend of our Festival 13. That's why it's more important than ever that you get up from your dancing or you're moving along with the music and get to your phone and move to call our number and make a pledge. Remember, we have a lot of different incentives for you, of course, the biggest one being the programs, but we also have an In the Mood, as you're hearing there in the background, In the Mood CD for $100 or an In the Mood cassette for $60. This is Glenn Miller's band, and it's a fabulous reason to call right now. And here's another fabulous reason to call, Julius LaRosa. Smooth talker. Hello, I'm <laughs> Julie LaRosa, and I'm here with all these wonderful volunteers because I love Glenn Miller's music and the guys from the band who have come back to play his music at least this one more time. But this program is here on 13 right now because all of us on 13's in 13 studio uh, give our time, give our money to bring you this kind of show and this kind of pleasure. And we've been, we're now trying to raise money for more programs like this, and we need you to come up with the necessary bucks to help out. Call the numbers you see on the bottom of your screen, huh? And give us the break we need, please. Jack, it's your turn. Thank you, Julie. I'm Jack Perkins, and it is wonderful having Julius LaRosa here tonight to support our fundraising efforts. This is the final weekend of the most important membership drive of the year for 13. 
And tonight is the night that he's going to let us all know whether we are going to succeed in reaching our goals. Remember, every time one of our 150 phones in this room rings, it means that a program that you want to see on 13 has one more chance of making it. That's what these moments are about. Each one of these minutes counts, if you make it count. Let's hear from you right away. Well, Midge Woolsey lets you know how we will thank you for every dollar you pledge, Midge. That's right, Jack. And as Julius has said, every dollar we raise here tonight goes right back into more programs for you. But if that's not incentive enough, here's that record we mentioned before. It's our small thanks for your call. The irresistible tunes that resounded all across the country during the 30s and 40s. The music that's left an indelible mark on American pop. Glenn Miller, Duke Ellington, Artie Shaw, Tommy Dorsey, Benny Goodman. The kings of swing put you in the mood with this colossal two-record collection of big band favorites. Whether you want to dance, romance, sit back and reminisce, or satisfy your curiosity about the sound of swing, there's the chance to help yourself to some definitive big band bliss. The compact disc is yours to enjoy for a pledge of $100, or ask for the cassette when you join at the $60 level. It's an offer too sensational to pass up. Grand Hotel, the most exciting, most elegant, most sophisticated musical in town. It's Tommy Toon's grandest show, and its producers have made a very grand offer to 13. They've set aside a limited number of choice seats for us to offer during this campaign. You can reserve a pair as thanks for phoning our 800 number and making a $150 credit card pledge to 13. Our thanks to Grand Hotel for helping to welcome you into our 13 family. Of course, if you've never joined the ranks of our members before and you think you might try it tonight, then go for our first time membership plan. Pledge $40 right now and we'll send you a wonderful package to mark this first time occasion. That package includes our famous blue tote, along with your membership card, which doubles as a discount pass for museums and plays all through the tri-state area. And along with our monthly program guide, there's a cable plan, which might come in handy when you're ready. Here's what that's all about. 13's March Festival of Programs will put you in the mood with that big band sound, the great pop favorites, and the king of swing himself, big bands and jukebox giants, and they're only part of Festival 13. And if you join 13 right now, you'll receive a free cable connection or a free upgrade to a premium channel or an additional set. The time was never better to join 13 and help keep what matters in sight. I'd like to ask our volunteers this evening, where are all of you from tonight? Are you from some organization or corporation or something tonight? No. Where are you from? From New York. They're just New Yorkers, I guess. Okay, well, thanks for being here. They represent all of you, actually. They're here as volunteers to take your call. They don't have any corporate affiliation here tonight. They're just here because they want to hear from you, because they believe in Channel 13. If you agree with that sentiment, I certainly hope you do, get to that telephone and call and pledge whatever you can afford. Because today, at the end of this day, we'd like to have 9,000 new pledges. And so far, I'm told we have 1,788. A little over 8,000 pledges to go. Does that sound like a lot? You know, it really isn't. There are literally thousands upon thousands of you out there watching. That's what our statistics tell us. We know you're out there. We know you're loving this kind of programming and that you've pledged in the past. So if you'd like to see more of this kind of programming in the future, and we know that those of you out there that love swing are loyal members of 13, but there are a lot of you out there who haven't pledged yet who like this kind of music. Now's the time to let us know that this is the kind of music you enjoy. Here's Julia. There are wonderful stories and legends wrapped up in the Glenn Miller Band, and I wish I could spend some time with you just to, to pass a few of them on for you. But we've only got a few minutes to raise as much as we can for this station of ours. It's yours and mine, yeah. And that's the main reason why I felt I had to be here tonight, today. And all these men and women behind who are answering the phones, they're waiting to take your call and uh, take your pledge. It's the final Saturday of this drive. I hope if you've been watching 13 on a regular basis and not paying a dime for the pleasure that uh, we get from 13, well then I hope you're gonna give us a call right now and let us know how much you value our station. Huh? All of us want 13 to be here at least for one more coming year. 
So give us a call and pledge whatever you can. At this point in the major fundraising drive of the year, we need every phone call and every dollar you can pledge. Let this be the one serious note, the final serious note, we'll have to make on this very festive occasion. Jack? Good point, Julie. You know, we're here because we value 13, and if you at home believe, as we do, that this station offers you the kind of entertainment that you just cannot find elsewhere, then all of these hours are worth paying for. And you can't, in good conscience, leave that, that paying to someone else and hope that your absence won't show. It will. Of course it will. And then it might be too late. Not only for you, but for the thousands of 13 supporters who support these membership drives year after year with their hard-earned dollars and their deep concern. Please, don't wait any longer to make one single call. That could change the way you'll look at 13 in the weeks and months ahead. This is a critical time for 13. We hope you will respond with your pledge. We need you to respond with a pledge. And we'll thank you not only with programs, but in ways uh, which will make you remember this day. And Midge can tell you about those. Midge? And rewards they are, Jack. Souvenirs of this membership drive and the time you answered our prayers. There's a CD of 40 classics for your $100 pledge. We've the same wonderful collection on an audio cassette for your $60 pledge. And if you and a pal have yet to see Grand Hotel on Broadway, then you're on your way with a pledge of $150. Now, any pledge of $40 or more brings with it a whole range of benefits that come with your membership package. But as we've been saying all through this festival of programs, the best benefit of all will be the fact of our continued existence. And that's the only point of this drive, our existence as your personal television station broadcasting your shows. So make that call now. And by Sunday night at 9, you'll feel the pride of being a member of ours when the curtain goes up on a great performance and one of the happiest hours of this entire two-week festival of delight. All I want is a room somewhere. Eliza Doolittle meets Victor Victoria, Mary Poppins, Maria Von Trapp, and Thoroughly Modern Millie. When everybody's favorite fair lady puts on a show. Baby, you're holding my soul together. It's Julie Andrews in concert, so you know it's going to be a great performance. With the sound of music. Listen, we just have a minute before we return to our Glenn Miller Hour of Dreamy Nostalgia and Music. I'm looking forward to that. But now for some real excitement. First off, before midnight tonight, you and some other lucky viewer of ours could be the happy winner of an 18 karat gold Movado watch. Here's the deal. If you've already made a pledge tonight, you're automatically entered in the Movado sweepstakes. If you haven't called yet, do it now, because every time you call us with a pledge of whatever amount you choose, you're eligible to win. So call right away, and call more than once if you like. Call and pledge as often as you can, and increase your odds of winning. Of course, you don't have to pledge to enter, but we sure hope you do. If you're not going to call with a pledge, however, then please wait until we return to our show so you don't tie up our phone lines for people who do want to pledge. Then join us tonight around 11.30 to see if you've won the grand prize for today. And now let's go back to the wonderful music of the Glenn Miller Band and to more of the story of this musical legend. Let's go to the show. Well, we came out here to Hollywood to do our first picture, and the name of that was Sun Valley Serenade. Uh, I brought an 8 millimeter camera with me, which I carried with me at all times to take pictures and uh, add nice color for it. And when we were on the set out there at 20th Century, I had somebody behind the cameras to take up pictures of me, because I'm up there on the bandstand playing, and uh, I thought they came out quite well, and needless to say, they were quite unique, because they're one of a kind today. For me, it was tremendously exciting. That's one of the greatest times of all, when we first pulled into this town. And it was just gorgeous. You could see all, it was almost like, uh, if I can refer to today, as clear as a bell and everything, you know. We didn't have to work that hard. Everything seemed to fall right into place, you know. It was just great.
Thank you. Early in the 1940s, the movie studios discovered that a hit swing band commanded a, a lot of box office muscle. And so the Glenn Miller Band found a new home in Hollywood, making two big films, Sun Valley Serenade and Orchestra Wives. Right now, K-Star and String of Pearls are going to join me in one of the swingingest hits from the movie Sun Valley Serenade. Howdy folks, let's go for a ride, get your favorite one to sit by your side, cuddle up in a sleigh, giddy up, Millie Gray, and away we go, while you listen to the sleigh bells ring, you go to to your baby, you'll feel nice and warm, no matter how cold it may be, take a look at little Jack and Jill, they ski down the hill, that's just no plow turn, and look, there's a spill, there's a spill on the hill, when you're down, there's a spill, you'll go up again, everybody ought to learn to ski, for that is how we first met. In Sun Valley, not so very long ago. There were sunbeams in the snow. And I fell in love when I saw that twinkle in your eye. I remember oh so clearly how you nearly passed me by. Then it happened in Sun Valley when you when said this fell. Again. You know, at Sun Valley Serenade, the, the band never did get to Sun Valley. Uh, after the picture's over, we drove to Sun Valley to see what it was like. But that was all done here in the Hollywood. But of course, they did take shots there that they dubbed in, you know. But uh, the band wasn't in Sun Valley. Great place, though. You should go there sometime.
We did a lot of recording. It all started when we were at Glen Isle Casino. We were on the air constantly there, remote programs right from the, from the nightclub. At one point, there was going to be a recording ban uh, coming up in a month or a few weeks, so we had to get an extra supply of recordings in. So we really uh, amassed a bunch of uh, records to be released, uh, you know, one or two a week. <laughs> what I liked the most about playing with the Glenn Miller Orchestra was it was such a fine orchestra. You know the story, of course, about w at one time, one, re e one out of every three records on the American Jude boxes was a Glenn Miller rec recording. That's true. That was Sun Valley Jump, a Jerry Gray hit arrangement from the movie Sun Valley Serenade. The popularity of the Miller sound has always been strong, but from time to time, something remarkable happens in the world of music. Musicians come along who are able to expand the style into something both ruggedly traditional and completely unique. Tonight, we're lucky to have with us a vocal group whose name comes from a Miller band tune that received renewed prominence in the Glenn Miller story and is poised again for rediscovery in their exciting vocalese rendition. Here they are, the group and the song, String of Pearl. <laughs>
jazz wheeling, squealing, black dog feeling. Can I choose the rhythm rules? I'll always heal my boots. Rendering resonance, so slang back the boot. Well, I love those melodies. I think of the prettiest harmonies. You know that I really love to say it as I did the rhythm that it has it so sloppy. It really makes me happy. So close it to tap it. The thing that gets us laughing, baby. You know it's so good to be. We hope you've been enjoying the wonderful music on our program, and, and we're going to take a short break now for the local stations to talk to you about supporting PBS and many other fine shows like this one. Don't go away. We'll be right back with the swinging second half of the Glenn Miller Band reunion, only on public television. Okay, Glenn Miller fans, we're taking another break to give you an opportunity to go to the phone and tell us how much you appreciate the program. Again, we're in the final hours, the last two days of our pledge drive, and we need you on board as a member. If you count on us for our programming service, we count on you for your support. For as little as $40, you can become a full-fledged member. So don't think about it any longer. Do it, won't you, right away. Over to you, Jack. Thanks, Midge. We certainly have a lot of work to do in the next few hours trying to convince you at home to start supporting this station and help all of us here in our broadcast facility is a good friend of 13's whom we've been with for the last couple of hours, Julius LaRosa. And joining him with Julius is Julia. Julia <laughs> Mead, the star of... We have the, the, the masculine Jesus. and the feminine versions <laughs> of the name there. That, that's well represented. Julia Mead, of course, a star of television and musical stage and a long-standing friend of 13. And, oh, I must wish you happy holidays. That is obviously well, the absolutely. reason for the hue of that. My national dress. holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Now, while you get comfortable here, let's go over to Donna and find out how we are going to say thanks to you people at home for your call and your pledge. Please, Donna. Indeed, that's just what our premiums are, Jack. They're our thanks to each one of you for joining our membership ranks at whatever level you choose. For example, pledge $100 or more, and your membership package will include this wonderful CD called In the Mood. Or if you want the convenience of an audio cassette for your Walkman or something, these same greatest hits of the big band era are yours for a $50 membership pledge. And if you can pledge $150 or more, we'll thank you with a pair of tickets to see Meet Me in St. Louis for the night of May 8th or to see Grand Hotel on the night of May the 3rd. Just a reminder, though, you must put your ticket premiums on your charge card so we can get them out to you in plenty of time. Now, if you've resisted joining 13 as a full member up to now, then why not ask for our introductory offer at the special discounted pledge of $40? You'll receive all the benefits of a membership, including our classic tote, our monthly program guide, your ticket to the arts membership card, which is good for discounts, by the way, at 40 museums and theaters all through the metro area, plus a cable installation or upgrade where it's available. Now, those are just some of the ways we want to say thanks for your call. Now, let's welcome Julia Mead. Well, thank you, Donna. 
I am really glad to be here with all of you. And I hope all of you at home tonight are in the mood for wearing the green, even parting with some of it. You know, it just so happens that this St. Patrick's Day falls on the final Saturday of 13th annual big festival of its program and the final weekend of the one big membership push of the year. So I'm going to suggest that everyone celebrating this wonderful holiday remember today's festivities with a membership pledge in 13. Because look what this station of ours is going to do for us next Monday night in return. Ah, Ireland. A beautiful ancient land where legend and superstition spring from every living creature. of the past mingle with the voices of the present in the Emerald Isle, a mystical journey through nature. Looks like a wonderful program and all of us who are members are proud of that nature series because we're the ones who originally got the series off the ground uh, years ago. So when people wonder, gee, what does 13 do with all the money they collect from those pledges? I tell them all about our series, like nature, and about the kinds of music shows we're showing right now. It took a lot of membership dollars to get this Glenn Miller band together, that wonderful reunion, in fact, and some help was given to us by other PBS stations. People like you and me and all the rest of 13's members put up the money for most of the programs we're going to be seeing until this drive comes to an end late Sunday night. Now that's quite an achievement, but we do it because these are the kinds of programs we want. If you share some of those feelings, well, then you're the members we need and we're looking for. Make that call now, huh? And now let's run over to Midge and see just how things are going. Midge? Thanks a lot, Julie. Well, the phones are just beginning to warm up, but we need to hear from more of you. Again, it's our final weekend, and we do need you on board. It's very crucial. In case you haven't heard, our goal for today is 9,000 new members. We currently have 2,030 members. Thank you very, very much, but we do have a long ways to go. 6,970 new members by the end of this evening. The question is, can we do it? I believe we can if each and every one of you goes to the phone and pledges whatever is right for you. Again, you can become a full-fledged member for only $40. But the important thing is that you decide it's not only television worth watching, but also television worth paying for because we don't exist without your help. So please go to the phone and pledge whatever you can. Over to you, Julia. Well, you know, I guess I was kind of surprised when Mitch was bringing us up to date just now to find out that only one in ten of you watching right now supports our programs here. Now, after 27 years that we've been on the air in this area broadcasting some really important programs, it suddenly hit me, who's paying for all this? I have to ask you the same question. And if it's not you, at least up to now, all of us here at the studio would love to hear from you. I know I would. So please, help share the load and pay for what you think 13 is worth to you. Isn't that right, Julia? Absolutely, Julia. Now, I've heard these statistics you mentioned, and I guess it surprises me, too, that a lot of my fellow viewers haven't begun to support the program they, they watch. Now, I don't want to get into any arguments about what people should or shouldn't do. But I do want to make this suggestion. If you watch 13, even from time to time, I'd sure like to see you take a more active part in what goes on here as far as the programming is concerned. It just takes a couple of dollars or whatever you think you can spare to make your presence felt around here. And besides, we'd just like to hear your voice and have you tell us that we're on the right track by showing the programs you want us to show. So please, it just takes a moment, pick up the phone and say hi. And say hi to everybody here who's looking to pick up a couple of dollars 
and Scenic 13 continues. Now, give us a call. Jack? Thank you, Julius. You know, uh, Julius raised a good point. We're not asking a lot from all of you at home. Right now, uh, we're, we're just asking for something from each one of you, just something. You know, sometimes even the basic membership of $60 or the $40 introductory offer might seem a tough nut for a person to crack. We understand that, of course. But believe me, that's okay, because these past two weeks have been 13's time to raise lots of money for your programs and for running the station, which gets them out to your home. And every time these phones ring, it means more money coming in for us to reach our goals. And they're not just our goals because we set them and we want to raise that much money. We have a very important purpose. We need to raise that much money so that we can produce the programs you want to see. But beyond money, really, there is something else very important, and that is we need your moral support. As Julius and Julia have said, we need your vote of confidence. So make your call now. Pledge whatever you can, but let us know you're with us. To keep what matters in sight, keep your eye on the numbers. For nature, 4,219. For the news hour, 7,126. For Nova, 6,317. For Sesame Street. That's how many paid up memberships it takes for 13 to bring you a season of each of those favorite series. How do we do it? One by one, starting with you. Join us now. 3,021. Well, we're about to return for another trip down memory lane, but first, let me remind you about some of the wonderful bonuses we can offer you for your call with a membership pledge. Pledge $150 or more for a pair of tickets to either Meet Me in St. Louis or to Grand Hotel. Our volunteers will confirm those dates for you. A pledge $100 or more for the CD collection of classics from the 40s and early 50s, or pledge $60 for an audio cassette at that same collection. Or you can pledge $40 and take advantage of our introductory membership offer, discounted for first-time callers, and we'll send you our thanks in the form of our navy blue tote. Of course, every membership, regardless of the amount of your pledge, brings with it your Ticket to the Arts membership card, our monthly program guide, and a cable installation or upgrade if your area has cable, and your local company is part of this deal. But whatever amount you can pledge, that's the amount we could use right now. So please call right away. And here's Midge with some extraordinary news. Take it away. Thanks, Donna. Well, I'm not sure it's extraordinary news, but it is news. The phones are doing fairly well. I'd like to take this moment to thank those of you who have taken the time to call us, not only for your pledge of support, but also for your patience. You, above all, understand how important it is that we do take this time each March to come to you and to ask for your pledges of support, because you know we couldn't be here without you, so thank you very, very much. Those of you who haven't made the move, now is the time. In case you haven't heard, we're uh, giving away two gorgeous Movado watches this evening. All you have to do to qualify is call either the 212 number or the 800 number, and uh, your name will go into the bin, and the winners will be chosen at 11.30 this evening. About 11.30, I think that is. Uh, you don't have to make a pledge to uh, qualify, but we do hope you will. We only ask that those of you who are not going to pledge, we ask that you wait until the break is over uh, and the show begins to call us. Okay, let's hear more from all of you. Jack? Okay, thank you. And I've got a, a goodbye to say to our friend Julius LaRosa, whom I've admired since I was a kid. Oh, me oh. too. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, don't say goodbye to me. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Julius, as always. <laughs> We're going to be going back to our program. I love it. <laughs> If you prefer, mail your check to 13, Box 1313, New York, New York, 10101. Swing music represents our aggression, 
to the primitive Tom Tom Tom, a rhythmic sound that pleases savages and children alike. The main effect is to narcotize them. It acts as a narcotic and makes them forget reality. They forget the depression, the loss of their jobs, all terrible things that beset them. It is like taking that drug. Well, it was a very busy time. Uh, we uh, went from city to city, of course. We were doing one-nighters all the time. And uh, by the time I'd get back, uh, uh, I'd have uh, 12 pieces of laundry sent to me from very various parts of the country. And occasionally I'd stop in, see my folks. I'd see them maybe three or four times a year, and only for a short time, 15, 20 minutes. And then we'd have to get back in the car and get to Boston to play that night, and or New York, wh whichever the case may, might be. It, it became a, a completely new family. The band became my family. <laughs> It had its good points and it had its bad. Of course, when we were young, you know, we could handle all the traveling, but you did get very tired. And you travel all night and you get into town, say, really early in the morning, six or seven o'clock, and you still got to get some sleep. So Paul Tanner and I were roommates, and uh, we had a little deal going on there where one of us would be up near the front of the bus, and the other guy would be right behind him, more or less. And once we pulled up and stopped in front of the hotel, we'd stand up, and the guy behind would stand up in the aisle, getting his stuff out of the racks and stuff, and nobody could get past. Well, in the meantime, Paul or whoever it was, me or Paul, would run into the hotel, sign in, and he'd be the first, we'd get our rooms first. So we had a little ploy going there. The band worked at Pennsylvania Hotel every winter. Well, the, the two winters that I was in the band, the winter of 1940-41 and then 41-42. Uh, and uh, the Cafe Rouge in the Pennsylvania Hotel, I think it's now the Statler or something else, the, the bandstand was up against the wall uh, on 32nd Street. And uh, the, the entrance to the room was opposite the bandstand, and there was a long hall that went all the way through the hotel to an entrance to the hotel on 33rd Street a block away. And directly across from that entrance was a saloon, Kelly's Bar, I think it's still there. And we used to go in Kelly's bar when we had, uh, you know, intermission when we were playing. And uh, we'd be in there drinking. And uh, one of the trombone players, uh, Frankie Donolfo, was a timekeeper. And after we were off 20 minutes or whatever it was, he would get on the stand. And that was a signal for all of us to get on. And the bartender in Kelly's would look, lean out and look across the bar. And he'd see Frankie on the bar, sitting on the bandstand. And he'd say, Quick, fellas, Frankie's on the bandstand. Time for one more. And we'd all have a quick one and run back and get, go to work. I don't know which came first, uh, the, the uh, phone number or, or uh, Glenn's idea. I understand the hotel still has the same phone number, which is Pennsylvania 65000. <laughs>
great guys. That's great. Great song. I've always, I've always loved. Uh, I, uh, what's the name of that tune? Oh yeah, but you forgot the one eight hundred. Anyway. Composed and arranged by Jerry Gray, it was a big hit that sold 40,000 copies during the first week in release. Jerry Gray also wrote many of the Miller hits that the young people across America had gone wild for. A String of Pearls and Chattanooga Choo Choo, and a romantic rumble seat special <laughs> called Moonlight Cocktail. Couple of jiggers of moonlight and add a star. Four in the blue of a June night and one guitar. Mix in a couple of dreamers and there you are. Love is hail, the moonlight cocktail. Now add a couple of flowers, a drop of dew. Stir for a couple of hours till dreams come true. After the number of kisses, it's up to you. Moonlight cocktails need a few. Cool it in the summer breeze. Serve it in the starlight underneath the tree. The simple directions and they will bring the life of another complexion where you came. You will awake in the morning and start to sing. Moonlight cocktails are a thing. We had fan clubs in each city and uh, fan clubs on top of fan clubs and, uh, you know, like the president of a fan club would have special privileges, allowed to come backstage or something. But uh, we sometimes referred to them as chooches because it was, uh, we couldn't say, uh, here comes another fan, we'd say, here comes another chooch and that would be our own little secret language. But uh, there were many kinds of chooches there was uh watch chooches uh, fellows that would come around selling watches hot watches or whatever and there was perfume chooches that guy would come around and open his coat and have all these perfume bottles and sell all kinds of goods glenn had five or ten thousand people every night and the ballrooms would be so crowded that there would be several hundred people that would just stand in front of the band and then some people would try to dance in the middle or back and then off at each corner would be what we call the hot corner because there would be people back there that would be just, they'd stand around in, in the circle and somebody would be in the middle of the circle showing off with, with really some hip um, jitterbug type dancing or harvest moon ball type of dancing where they'd throw each other over their backs and, and all that sort of thing. And uh, uh, they, they were really good. People would be so packed in up to the bandstand that if a girl fainted from the heat or something, she couldn't fall down. It was too tight. So what they'd do is they'd lift her up and pass her overhead to the stage. 
and they're the singers, Modern Airs or Ray Everly, somebody, would take the girl backstage and be one or two of the wives back there. They'd give her some smelling sauce or something. And sometimes the, the girl would come to and see that she's being attended to by uh, Ray Everly or some other good-looking fellow. But they very often didn't want to go back to that uh, ballroom dance. They want to stay right there and having a good time. <laughs> Hi. The Miller Band also scored big successes with many wonderful songs by Mac Gordon and Harry Warren. Songs like At Last, I've Got a Girl in Kalamazoo, and the tune we're about to hear now, Serenade in Blue. Not many people know, however, that the introduction to Serenade in Blue, one of the most beautiful passages ever written, was by trumpet player and arranger and the leader of our band, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for him, Mr. Billy May.
hear that serenade in blue I'm somewhere in another world alone with you Sharing all the joys we used to know Many moons ago Once again your face comes back to me Just like the theme of some forgotten melody in the album of my memory Serenade in blue It seems like only yesterday A small cafe, a crowded floor And as we dance the night away I hear you say forevermore And then the song became a sigh Forevermore became goodbye, but you remained in my heart. Tell me, darling, is there still a spark for only lonely ashes of the flame we knew? Should I go on whistling in the dark? I think these youngsters up here are ready for a change of pace. And there's no stopping these guys, especially when they're running wild.
1941, one of Glenn's songs became the first song since the 20s to sell over a million copies. To commemorate that feat, RCA Victor awarded Glenn and the band a gold record, the first ever. The idea was picked up by the record industry of America, and going gold became an integral part of the business. Singing that hit with String of Pearls is longtime Miller drummer and band leader, Mr. Ray McKinley. Entertainment and great music. Hallmarks of both the Glenn Miller Band and public television. Now we're going to take a short break for your local stations to ask for your support. Then we'll be back with more great swing music in the concluding act of the Glenn Miller Band reunion. PBS and you. We're all in this together. The way it's shot enhanced...
going to take another quick break to let those of you who are fans of the big band sound, we're going to let you go to the phone and pledge your support. Speaking of the big band sound, this is the final Saturday of our pledge drive, and it is the final opportunity that you have to go to the phone and cast your vote. Let us know in the strongest way possible that you love the big band sound here on 13, because... Tomorrow is Sunday, and then our pledge drive is over. So if you love the big band sound, again, now is the time to go to your phones, make these phones ring in the studio, and tell us that you love the music and you want it to stay right here on your public television station. We do have some terrific premium offers. Uh, I think they're related to the big band sound. I'm going to tell you a little bit about them in just a few minutes. But right now, I'd like to turn things over to Julia Mead. Well, we've just got a few more minutes before we come to the end of this wonderful tribute to the big band sounds of the past. All of us here, especially our volunteers who gave up their Saturday evening to take your calls, hope that you can stay with us for this final nostalgic moment. In the meantime, I hope you'll give us a call in our studio here or on our toll-free line to share your delight with this program in the form of a membership pledge. You know, Julia, that so much of our time at 13 is spent looking ahead to the future and worrying about where the money's going to come from and, and and i think for that reason it's nice every now and then just to sit back enjoy a program like this one and uh, just live for the moment and i wish we could but it seems a shame to break the mood of programs like this but we have to talk and think about raising money for all the things that we would still want to do for you for you that's the nature of the business. We always have to be planning and we always have to be thinking where the funds will come from. That's why all of us are here tonight, because unless we hear from you at home urgently tonight, this weekend, all we'll wind up doing is looking back because there won't be much to look forward to. Please, let us hear from you now. Call and give your pledge of support. Here again is Midge to suggest some levels of giving. Midge? Thanks a lot, Jack. Of course, there are as many levels for giving as there are viewers watching at home right now. Pledge whatever, and we really do mean this, whatever you can afford and whatever amount you choose, if you can afford a $100 pledge, we'll say many, many thanks with the CD collection of the big band sound of yesteryear, from In the Mood to Till the End of Time. Now, for just a $60 pledge, we'll send you the same collected selection on an audio cassette. Now, if you're a Broadway baby and a pledge of $150 is just right for you, then think about these two terrific offers and then give us a call while these fabulous premiums last. Hotel, the most exciting, elegant, most sophisticated musical in town. It's Tommy Toon's grandest show, and its producers have made a very grand offer to 13. They've set aside a limited number of choice seats for us to offer during this campaign. You can reserve a pair as thanks for phoning our 800 number and making a $150 credit card pledge to 13. Our thanks to Grand Hotel for helping to welcome you into our 13 family. Climb aboard for a musical treat, the best family entertainment on Broadway. Meet me in St. Louis and climb aboard the 13 bandwagon at the same time. The show's producers have set aside a limited number of choice seats for 13 viewers who call our 800 number and make a credit card pledge of $150. We thank everyone at Meet Me in St. Louis for their generous help, and we'll thank you, too, with a pair of tickets for their wonderful show. One final note for those of you who are thinking of joining 13 first time, Now's the time to board because, and this is just for you, we've taken 20% off our basic membership pledge. So, for a pledge of $40 a year, we'll send you your first 13 tote bag, the navy blue classic tote you see more and more of every day all through the metro area. And just like every membership pledge, yours entitles you to our monthly program guide for the next 12 months. And your personalized membership card, which in fact is a discount ticket to 40 cultural institutions from Trenton to Hartford and all through Manhattan. And more and beyond. And finally, we're offering you a cable installation or a channel upgrade, provided, of course, you live in a cabled area and the local company is part of our deal. Now, let's take a look at what's coming up next and hear from one of the stars of tonight. Hi, I'm Patty 
decades. Join me for a nostalgic Tennessee waltz down memory lane with more of your favorite stars from the 40s and 50s. We'll be singing and swinging for one more jukebox Saturday night. It is critical that you give if you want to continue watching public television. Critical, because the costs rise and they will not be able to continue these wonderful shows that you and I watch if they don't get your donations. So I beg of you, I plead with you, and I ask you very kindly, please send your donations to public television. They're the best, and they need it. It is going to be a wonderful show. And since Margaret's in it, get set for a terrific time. And of course, member dollars have made Jukebox Saturday Night return with a brand new edition. Member dollars alone. So if anyone wants to know, what does 13 do with all the money it raises? Then stay with us for the next few hours and you'll get a perfect idea. The night was made for music and for those of us who love those good, old, sentimental, nostalgic tunes. So if these are your kinds of shows, then 13 is your kind of station. So pick up the phone right now and make a membership pledge because here is obviously where you belong. And not only a night made for music, but for those people who make music uh, in our dressing room at the moment, preparing to come out and be with us later this evening, Julie Wilson, Margaret Whiting. We've already visited with Julia Slarosa. It's a wonderful evening, and of course, we're delighted to have Julia Mead with us. You know, during the run of this festival of ours, we have tried to make the point to you viewers over and over that it is not a matter of how much you pledge, it's a matter of pledging something. The idea of membership levels, please, let me say again, is just a suggestion. It's certainly not meant to price our service to you out of your reach. Of course not. Pledge whatever you can. And if you've spent some time with us during Miller Special, or if you've just tuned in for the Saturday night, then you're the ones we must hear from now. Call us. Pledge anything you want. But for 13 sake, for the sake of your programs, Pledge something. Be involved. Back to me. Now, for those of you who are already members of ours and who'd like to pledge something more at this time, here are a couple of thoughts. For members only, two special spring events. Choose an evening of French food and wine sponsored by Frederick Wildman and Sons on Friday, April 6th at the French Consulate. Learn about wines from the Burgundy and Rhone regions and bid on rare vintages. <laughs> But if tennis is your game, be courtside Saturday, May 19th for an afternoon of celebrity tennis at the Westside Tennis Club in Forest Hill. The honored guest, Arthur Ashe. Each event, $100 per person, but call now. Well, as you can see, the phones are doing fairly well, but there are some phones available. This woman here, this woman here, they'd both like to be busy taking your pledge of support. Again, our final Saturday evening comes Sunday evening. Poof, we're gone. We've got the dollars. We sit down and we decide what kinds of programs we can afford for the coming year. So please, if you haven't made that move over to the telephone, now is the time. By the way, our goal for today is 9,000 new members. So far, we have 2,249. Thank you very, very much. But we have a long ways to go. 6,751 new members by the end of the evening. So please, help us out. If you've already come on board, why don't you call one of your friends, one of your neighbors, and tell them that we're here, and we do need your pledges of support. Again, we're giving away two gorgeous Movado watches this evening. All you have to do to qualify is call the 212 number or the 800 number, and we'll put your name, uh, address, and telephone number into the bin. About 11.30 this evening, we'll choose the two winners. You don't have to pledge to qualify, but we do hope you will pledge something. We only ask that those of you who don't choose to pledge wait until the end of this break. Wait until the show begins. We'll be here and call in, and uh, we'll take all the information. Back to you, Jack. Thank you, Mitch. Julia Mead will be... Uh starting rehearsal for a play on exactly. Monday. Exactly. On Monday, I'm going to do a uh, Bernard Shaw play called Getting Married uh, at uh, the uh, Long Island Stage, which is a regional theater. An in, uh, old show, but, but well, fresh as today. Right. It's the last one he wrote, and it's about prenuptial agreements. Huh. So, you know, it's part of a symposium they're having called Past and Future Shaw. 
to show really how he's very au courant. Isn't it wonderful yeah. how, how, how that is true? Thank you so much for being with us, Julia. Thank you. It's, it's always... my pleasure, and I'm going home and watch Jukebox Saturday night, and I hope everybody is going to phone in and pledge, because I certainly am. Good. Thank good. you, Jack. And don't forget, this Jukebox Saturday night is a brand new show. You haven't seen it here before. This is a new version, a new edition, because you like the first one so much. But first, we've got business to do to conclude our program on Glenn Miller. Stay with us, folks. Won't you do to me Two reminders. Contributions are tax deductible to the extent that they exceed the fair market value of any premium you receive in return. Copies of Channel 13's annual report, which includes a description of the programs and activities which your contributions support, can be obtained upon request from Channel 13 at WNET 13, 356 West 58th Street, New York, New York, 10019, or from New York Secretary of State, 162 Washington Avenue, Albany, New York, 12231. Glenn formed the best orchestra he could get put together out of members of the Air Force, because that was a branch of the service he was in. And um, he wanted to do the most good that he could with this band, which eventually he hoped to bring overseas and play for the guys that were actually doing the fighting.
kicking their heels to American Patrol and all our dance numbers. Let's hear it again for the Lester Wilson dancers, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. The Army Air Force Band, under the direction of Captain Glenn Miller, played hundreds of radio shows and live concerts for the troops, both stateside and in England. Some of the, uh, the brass wanted to hear traditional military music, but Glenn had particular ideas about his mission of morale, despite the fact that one general went so far as to request that the trombone players move their slides in orderly unison. The band, the band played the popular tunes troops had known stateside. Now here's a wistful ballad that must have made, uh, made all of them mighty anxious to, to get the war over with and, and get home. At last, my love has come along. My lonely days are over, and life is like a song. At last. Skies above are blue. My heart was wrapped in clover. The night I looked at you, I found a dream that I can speak to, a dream that I can call. My own. I found a thrill to press my cheek to. A thrill I've never known. You smiled, and then the spell was cast. St. Louis Blues March actually came about uh, as a result of, uh, of us marching through the streets of New Haven on the way to the parades that we had to do twice a day. We used to play uh, what we call riffs, and uh, we had no written band music, and the drummers would play a cadence as we marched through the street. And then we started playing melodies that would fit in with the cadence that we were marching to, like Jersey Bounce. And then one day we just started to play the St. Louis Blues, just uh, eight measures of it. And when Jerry Gray joined the band as an arranger, he picked up on that and wrote an arrangement on the St. Louis Blues, which later became the St. Louis Blues March, because we marched to it.
that's one of the uh, true stories that in that film, the Glenn Miller story. It's when we were out playing, and uh, I'm talking about in the Army, we're out playing uh, outdoors for the GI somewhere. I don't recall where it was. But at that time, they had the V1s. They called them buzz bombs coming in uh, over London all the time, it seemed like. And that while we're playing, sitting there playing, one of those things, you can hear it. They sound like a truck comes up, and we can see it. It comes right across uh, where we're playing, right straight across. And those things can uh, shut off at any time and come straight down, man, and they do a lot of damage. You can see all the, all of the GIs and people scrambling around. But here we are, we're keeping playing, you know, we're watching this turkey go right through it, you know, and keep playing right to the bitter end. And, and thank goodness the thing kept going. It didn't cut off till it was way out of sight from us. But uh, in the picture, it showed us kept, we kept playing and uh, that's the way it really happened. But in the final analysis, I don't think that was very bright. A lot of people ask, what really happened to Glenn? Now, I, I, my only answer can be that actually the whole outfit was officially transferred from England to France, and Glenn left the day before we were supposed to leave. Uh, when he took off, the weather was bad, and he went in a single-motored plane with the two other people. The last time I saw Glenn Miller was just before, just, uh, just as he got into the staff car to go to the airport to go to Paris. and. Uh, I said, uh, well, so long, Glenn, and he said, I'll see you over there, Zarch, and then he drove off. After we came back from Europe, the last official function, you might say, that we did was a concert for the National Press Club's yearly uh, dinner at which uh, everybody from President Truman on down uh, attended, all the generals, admirals, Congress, etc. And uh, after our show, they all stood up and gave us a standing ovation, which completely overwhelmed us. I mean, it was boggling. It's the only thing I could say. And as we packed up, someone yelled, attention, hut, and we all jumped up, and here comes uh, Arnold and Eisenhower onto the bandstand. And General Eisenhower gave a, about a three or four minute, just beautiful talk to us. It was like a thank you talk. And one of the things that he said was, he says, next, he says, the only thing I can think of that would have been a, more of a morale boost than you guys would be a letter from home. I don't 
sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me. With anyone else but me Until I come marching home I just got word from a guy who heard From the guy next door to me A girl he met Loves to pet It fits you to a T I don't sit under the apple tree With anyone else but me Until I come It has been an honor and a pleasure to be a part of this wonderful show. Let's have a great big hand for everyone who helped make all this fine music. K-Star, ladies and gentlemen. Ray McKinley. String of Pearls. The Lester Wilson Dancers. and the original members of the Glenn Miller Band on trumpet, Johnny Best. <laughs> on bass, Raleigh Bundock. <laughs> on trombone, Jimmy Pretty. <laughs> on clarinet, Willie Schwartz. <laughs> and on trumpet, Zeke Zarchi. <laughs> and Mr. Billy May. and the rest of the Glenn Miller Reunion Band. Good night, everybody. enjoyed this wonderful special of the popular sounds of a golden time. 13 and all its members made sure that this program happened and are proud to have used their resources to bring this event to your home. It's the hope of each one of us here that you will take a moment of your time right after these closing credits to share your applause with us in the form of a membership pledge or at least a pledge of what you can spare for some more programs like this one. 
This is the final weekend of the most important fundraising drive of the year. We must hear from you right away. Presentation of the Glenn Miller Band Reunion was made possible by this station and other public television stations nationwide. Additional funding was provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Well, we hope you're still in the mood for some sensational music because the long-awaited Jukebox Saturday Night 2 is straight ahead. Patty Page plays host to the McGuire sisters, Margaret Whiting, New Ink Spot, Teresa Brewer, Julius LaRose, and Fran Warren. There'll be scores of special guests visiting with us here in the studio. But right now, we need you to perform your very special magic. You know what it is. Give us a call, make a pledge, and help yourself to the 13 thank you. Specially chosen for this audience, In the Mood features the greatest hits of the big band era. The audio cassette is yours to enjoy for a pledge of $60, the compact disc for a pledge of $100 or more. If you want to find more music here on 13 in the future, you have to sing out for 13 right now with as generous a pledge as you can possibly make. And here's Jack. Thank you, Donna. As many of you know, this fundraising drive is swiftly coming to a close. Every minute we spend with you is critically important. The fact of the matter is we are short of our goal. And we have a good deal of catching up to do. However, we are very fortunate to have so many talented people coming by to help us during this home stretch. Right now, my pleasure to welcome an artist who was described by the New York Times as, quote, the most elegant and fiercely expressive singer-actress in New York's cabaret circuit. You recognize Julie Wilson. Welcome, and thank you so much for coming by, Julie. It's a pleasure, Jack. This, this concert confirmed for me what a thrill it is for performers for performers to receive that wonderful instant feedback from a live audience. There's really nothing like it. A visceral response from an audience elevates any performance. It makes it a very memorable event. Well, the reason I'm here is to ask all of you and to encourage all of you to make today an even sweeter day on on 13 by making it a, mem a memorable occasion by responding to what everyone here in the studio is trying to accomplish we want you to make a connection with 13 that will ensure more music presentation throughout the entire year all that entails is one phone call and one pledge from each and every one of you imagine what we could find here in the future if that wonderful, wonderful development took place here today. That's so true, Julie. You know, the next show is a perfect example of what Julie was just talking about regarding audience feedback. Jukebox Saturday Night 2 is a new show produced right here at 13 for the entire public television system. The whole country is about to enjoy it because viewers let us know loud and clear during our past few marathons that they love these kinds of specials. We pledged in record numbers then, and so here we are about to enjoy another show featuring the kind of music that obviously strikes a strong chord with you. It's a great give and take kind of system, but it can only improve and expand if more of you afford us a financial boost. That's the key. There's no gray area here. Ask us for more with your pledge, and you shall receive. It's as simple as that, so please, don't hesitate to join in our operation. If you helped lay the groundwork for this great jukebox presentation, take a bow. But if you didn't, it's never too late. Join this partnership, make a pledge, and be part of future plans to keep 13 a great, a one-of-a-kind music showcase. Over to Jack. Ah, uh, thank you again, Donna. 13 really is an ever-growing partnership between government, private industry, and most importantly, you. As far as securing the funds we need to enlarge our services, we try to be as enterprising as we can. We publish, we publish books to supplement our programs. We rent out production facilities to companies for teleconferences. We encourage corporations to lighten our financial burden with their general support announcements. But 
While the overall results of all these relatively new endeavors has been to stabilize 13's economy, we still count on your support for almost half the costs that keep this station running. Virtually nonstop, day after night, seven days a week. Has nowhere to run except to all of us right now. Our support gives the station that something extra it needs to take it over the top to do more than merely survive. If we want 13 to thrive, we have to lend our support. Great music shows like the Glenn Miller reunion and the jukebox Saturday night and the Benny Goodman tribute later on tonight. These special presentations don't just appear out of nowhere. They're here because 13 viewers at one point or another decided to become 13 members. That's what makes public television unique. It's television directly supported by the people who enjoy it. Well, if you're watching right now, doesn't that include you? That's a rhetorical question, of course. It does. So please, if you're strictly a 13 viewer, change your status to an active station backer. It's just one phone call away. And if you'd like a night to remember on the Great White Way, take us up on this terrific thank you. Grand Hotel, the most exciting, most elegant, most sophisticated musical in town. It's Tommy Toon's grandest show. And its producers have made a very grand offer to 13. They've set aside a limited number of choice seats for us to offer during this campaign. You can reserve a pair as thanks for phoning our 800 number and making a $150 credit card pledge to 13. Our thanks to Grand Hotel for helping to welcome you into our 13 family. Julie and I were discussing the fact that music lovers turn to 13 for a variety of reasons. Some tune in to enjoy the sounds that pulled at their heartstrings long ago. They enjoy reliving those great moments. Other folks, we realize, are just discovering 40s, 50s, even 60s music for the very first time. Different generations bring different perspectives to the music we're enjoying during this campaign. And it's really pretty remarkable how it brings us all together. I made the point earlier that 13 is a year-round music showcase, and it's an equal opportunity one at that. This station affords us a chance to sample styles of music that we might not take the time nor spend the money to investigate. But when we do tune in and explore all these great styles, most often the results are very positive. 13 is a wonderful music gold mine. So whether you're wrapped up in treasured memories today or a newcomer to the music that's presently filling 13's airwaves, Please applaud what you're hearing in the most effective way possible. Make beautiful music with 13 by calling in a pledge, and then come back tomorrow night and enjoy this great performance's premiere as a signed-up station supporter. All I want is a room somewhere. Eliza Doolittle meets Victor Victoria, Mary Poppins, Maria Von Trapp, and Thoroughly Modern Millie when everybody's favorite fair lady puts on a show. Baby, your home might go together. It's Julie Andrews in concert, so you know it's going to be a great performance. With the sound of music. I agree with the New York Times. You are elegant and fiercely expressive. And we're grateful to you for being with us, Julie. Great pleasure, John. Uh, still, uh, you, we have to let her go because she has to go to work. Right. Cafe Carlisle, St. Patrick's Night, here we come. Oh, are you going to have <laughs> a night at the cabaret tonight? Thank you. And to you, dear friends out there, call, please. If you prefer, mail your check to 13, Box 1313, New York, New York, 10101. This program is made possible by the financial support of viewers like you. Additional funding is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Tonight are 
Thank you, and it is wonderful to be with you tonight. You know, a few years ago, 
Public Television produced a big musical special called Jukebox Saturday Night. Now, everybody had such a good time doing that one, they decided to come back and do the second one, Jukebox Number Two. And it's especially appropriate because this is the 100th anniversary of the jukebox. That's right. Yeah, it deserves some applause, right? For a whole century, folks have been plunking their nickels, dimes, and quarters in to hear great, great music. Now, when I was a young girl singing on the radio in Tulsa, Oklahoma, that is, I used to go to the drugstore, buy a soda, and play Tommy Dorsey and Frank Sinatra on the jukebox. Across the country in Brooklyn, New York, our first guest was doing the very same thing. A few years later, he was discovered by Arthur Godfrey and became a jukebox star himself. Ladies and gentlemen, Julius La Rosa. <laughs>
marvelous Michelle Legrand's song. Lyrics, Marilyn Allen Bergman, fellow Brooklynites. Question, what are you doing the rest of your life? North and south and east and west of your life. I have only one request of your life that you spend it all with me. All the seasons and the times of your days. All the nickels and the dimes of your days. Let the reasons and the rhymes of your days begin and end with me. I want to see your face in every kind of light, in the fields at dawn and forests in the night. Before the candles on a cake, let me be the one who'll hear the silent wish you made. Those tomorrows waiting deep in your eyes in a world of love. In your eyes, I'll awaken what's asleep in your eyes. It may take a kiss, a kiss or two. Thank you. Johnny Mercer and Henry Mancini. The days of wine and roses laugh and run away like a child at play. Through the meadowland, toward a closing door. Doormark nevermore, that wasn't there before. A lonely night discloses just a passing breeze. Just a passing breeze. 
you. Our next stars were also members of the Arthur Godfrey family, the performers of 30 jukebox hits. Now, as a sister act, they retired from the stage for about 17 years and pursued their own special careers and raising families. And now they're enjoying a fantastic comeback. They look and sound as wonderful as ever. Christine, Phyllis, and Dorothy, the McGuire sisters. <laughs>
about to take a break from Jukebox Saturday Night so our stations can say a few words about supporting public TV. Coming up are Teresa Brewer, Johnny Smith's New Ink Box, Fran Warren, Margaret Whiting, and me, Patty Payne. Money we really do need that. We need your support. Don't have the other guy do it. Come on, be a sport. Give to public television. I can't resist the McGuire sisters there. Listen, we've got a, quite a hefty goal for today, but we think we're going to make it. We'd like to make, by the end of this day, 9,000 pledges. So far, 3,011, and that means we've got a few to go. In this particular break, we're looking for how many in this break, Jim? How many? 1626 for this break alone. Now, we know that if just one out of every five of you out there watching would call, we'd more than make that goal. So let's make this break really count. After all, Jukebox Saturday Night was developed and produced especially for this drive. Right here at 13, thanks to those of you who pledged for Jukebox Saturday Night 1 in the past. So give us a call if you like this kind of programming, because we're here for you. Here's Jack. Thank you, Donna. The great jukebox music has only just begun. There's plenty more in store during the next couple of hours, and there's plenty more excitement in our studio tonight. Before we talk with just one of the many special guests who will be stopping by, we have several ways of thanking you when you heed our call with that pledge we're anxiously waiting for. Remember, our drive is swiftly coming to a close. We're in the home stretch. We urgently need to hear from you. The sooner, the better. Here's Midge. Thanks, Jack. Before the swinging and swaying continues, it's my job to persuade you to dance over to your phone and do what you gotta do. Well, it shouldn't be too difficult a task for me, thanks to this great thank you offer. It's the Jukebox Saturday Night Double Audio Cassette, containing a full three dozen golden hits from the 40s and the 50s. For some, it's a sentimental journey. For others, it may make for brand new, some enchanted evenings of song. Whichever, it's music, 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 and the perfect way to remember the exact moment when you aligned yourself with 13. But not for one, but two cassettes are yours for a membership pledge of $60. Or, if you're fortunate to own a compact disc player, let our CD version of this terrific collection play away in your home for a very generous pledge of $100. Come on, folks, there's plenty to go around, so make that call and tell 13 that you sincerely want to pitch in and do your rightful share. And now a pleasure to introduce, well, you see her on the show here, and you've seen her on 13 so many times. Margaret Whiting, thank you so much for being with us. You're a big fan of 13's, I know. Oh, I am, and I am not paid to say what I'm about to say. I watch Channel 13 whenever I'm home all the time. There was a fantastic show the other night called Camera Magic. I don't know if you saw yes, it, but indeed. it was unbelievable. And uh, I watch uh, Hercules Perot. I, wa I watch when they did Jewel of the Crown. I am a big fan of Channel 13, and I'll tell you why. Because this has the best programming in America. Public broadcasting is the best, but of course, I'm partial to Channel 13 because I live right down the street from Channel 13. A lot of people who work here, but they have come up with the show that we're showing right now. Well, you know, you make the man you make the man on the other side of you very happy when you talk this way. Dr. Bill Baker is the president That's of for sure. Now, you know. <laughs> I can make him happier. You know, I've come to collect something else that I get every well, time. Well, you, you I collect come tote bags. I you, have you, about 17 or 18. Biggest of collection them. in town, I understand. The yeah. biggest 13 tote bag collection, second to mine. Oh, but <laughs> now I want to give you my pledge. Oh, I want to give it to you because I do love Channel 13. Thank you. Well, hold it. Now, now this is this is Margaret. This is St. Patrick's Day, and we know you love the station so much. But and I'm embarrassed that I don't have a green 13 tote oh, bag to right. give you on St. Patrick's Day. But I'm going to give you this this tote bag to add to your massive tote bag collection. 18th. Thank you. Oh, it's Thank my you, pleasure. Margaret. And believe me, I mean everything I say about Channel 13. It's the best. And, don't you love this show that this you This is great. Well, one of the things that, that Margaret and I were talking about before is the, pr the producers here are the finest anywhere in the world. Yes. And Jack Samoth, who oh. works here at Channel 13, who developed this program along with Jack Vance. What an incredible group and of people. Great. And they, they care. They care that they do the best in programming. And that's what I 
love about Channel 13. Well, we're, we're grateful for your uh, persuasive words, Margaret, but because the fact is the budget process for the next year has already begun, and next week I'm going to be sitting down with all of the producers and planners and executives and George Miles and looking what we've, uh, at what we've accomplished this week, and this is a very decisive time for us. We'll decide what gets funded and what gets rejected due to the lack of finances. Now, I'd like nothing better than to walk into that room uh, with encouraging words for everyone. But at this point, that's, I'm afraid, merely wishful thinking. What it takes on your part, you out there, is to make a, uh, to make a reality of all of this is to go and pledge. Not sometime this year. We have to secure your support before we close up shop tomorrow night. And if we had our druthers, we'd like to take care of that business this very night. So please join me in keeping 13 as strong as it possibly can be. It is you out there who give us that strength. $50 at a time. Call in a pledge right now, and you have my promise. We'll bring you more great television than I've ever, than ever before in 1991. Now here's Donna. Thank you, Dr. Baker. You know, these are the final hours of this festival. We're pretty excited here. We're always sort of in a lot of suspense. Are we going to make our goal? Are the people out there watching and enjoying the show going to call in? We've had pretty good response. But there's a gal right behind Midge over here who's off the phone. She's waiting for your call. A lot of folks in the back there, most of them wearing green, by the way, because it's St. Patty's Day. They're all waiting for your call. My green is on my back here. You can't really see it very well. <laughs> because when I wear green, I sort of turn green. But listen, I'm not allergic to the color of money, I have to say, <laughs> if it's money for Channel 13. So we're hoping that all of you are going to send in your green this evening. Consider all the great music we've been bringing you during this drive. We know you like it because our ratings show that you like it. We've got great ratings for all this music program. And we've got a lot of good reviews in the papers, too, and that makes us feel terrific. But all of this doesn't make us feel nearly as good as you walking over to your phone and doing something very simple, calling us with your pledge, whatever you can afford. We're trying to make the most of our time with you here. We're trying to keep these breaks short and to the point. And we also have a lot of companies that have been matching our pledges dollar for dollar during the drive, and we're very grateful for that. And by the way, if you decide to pledge tonight, you might call your personnel office on Monday and say, hey, I pledged to Channel 13. And if your company has a matching fund, they'll be matching your dollar for dollar pledge with dollars of their own. That makes your programming dollars go twice as far here. Remember, Jukebox Saturday night, uh, we'll we can give you a cassette or a CD if you'd like that, if you'd like to call and get that premium. But whatever you'd like to, re to get, please call us and respond now because we'll be grateful for anything that you can give us. And frankly, it's very important that you call because we'll be off after tomorrow night. This drive will be over. And whatever dollars we get now, those are the dollars we'll have to operate with from now on until the next pledge drive. So please, give us a call, pledge your fair share, and then sit back and enjoy the rest of the show as a member. What are you doing the rest of the evening besides enjoying this show? Do me a favor. You want to see more shows like this? Make a call right now and say, hey, La Rose is right. Put me down for whatever. And whatever you get put down for, we thank you, we appreciate it, and stick around. We do hope you stick around for more Jukebox Saturday night because we've got a lot of good music for you on that program and then the one to follow. And we hope you make this evening a, an interactive event by calling in your pledge. We're here with one of the stars of this special presentation, Miss Margaret Whiting. Margaret, let me ask you, um, you've been involved with a lot of these great old music shows here on PBS on 13. Uh, why? Well, first of all, they asked me to do them, and I'm very thrilled to do them, but um, I just think, as I said before, it's best programming, and I just came back from Florida. Everybody had seen this show, and they come up to you and they say, wow, that was a good show, that was exciting. So you want to continue doing those kind of shows on television, and if you want to continue doing those kind of shows, you've got to stick with Channel 13, because they did this show, and it... Uh, great the reaction everywhere is terrific on it that's why i like to be here well we are delighted to have you, you know there are a lot of demands on your time and we're delighted that you always come back home thank you bill margaret's wonderful she's it's, it's great to have friends like you notice i'm holding on to your check <laughs> so i'm not going to let it go it's important for everybody out there to realize that this is the station that does 40 percent of all of the public television programs that makes these shows that, that everybody sees all around the country 
and that it is your $50, $50 at a time. You, everybody thinks, gee, what, how can $50 make a difference to a, to a big television station like this? But that's really our strength. $50 at a time is what empowers us. And you are the station backer. Margaret, on behalf of everybody here at the station, thank you so much for lending us your support and being with us. And to all of you at home who've come through during this campaign, thank you. You're wonderful. But for those of you who haven't delivered yet, please, we need your help. Jack? Okay. Uh, we've got a wonderful evening of entertainment for you still to come, the Jukebox Saturday night and then the great Benny Goodman special. Now, before we move along, here is an important message from three lovely ladies who sincerely want you to call in that pledge. I would tell my neighbors, well, I have in the past, to support public television because to me it's one of my favorite stations. It's very educational. It's very entertaining. And uh, I, I just love it. And I think most people do. We support public television and, and we expect everyone else to. I've supported public television for many, many years. And now to be able to perform and not only be on public television with time and, and spend the talent and the time uh, and give money, too. That's the important thing. It's the dollars. I mean, everyone gives of their time and of their talent to different things. But on public television, the important thing is the money. If the money and the dollars don't come in, and all of these wonderful programs on public television that we that we enjoy and they're so dear to us, we won't have any more. And we must have the dollars. And unfortunately, people always think, well, someone else will send them the money. Someone else will send them the 500 or someone else will send them the $2. And don't ever think that a small contribution is too small. There's, it's never too small and it certainly can't be too much. So everyone should give to public television so it can remain as it is great. Thank you, sisters. It's pretty nice. You know, it's true. No matter what you can afford, we need to get your pledge. And if you want to have a really big effect on this all-important campaign, if it's within your budget, you can pledge $1,000 or more and you'll enter 13's pacing circle. The special number to call for details is now on your screen. And as you might expect, there are certain advantages afforded to those of you who join 13 at this level. As to why you should join, here's a very articulate gentleman with some definite thoughts on the matter. I think that it's very important that people recognize that in addition to the immediate needs that some of our fellow New Yorkers have for shelter and clothing and food, there's a general need in the society for nourishment for the spirit and the intellect. And I believe very strongly that 13 is one of the institutions that satisfies that need. And if you're fortunate enough to be in a position to lend your support to such institutions, I would strongly urge you to join the patron circle and see just what a force for good the station is. well but I'd like to see more of these volunteers busy in case you haven't heard this is the final weekend the final hours of our pledge drive and we're slightly behind so we're counting on those of you who haven't made the move over to the telephone to do so this evening let us know in the strongest way possible that the big band sound needs to remain on 13 it takes your active participation it doesn't happen any other way so if you love the programming now is the time. Tomorrow is the last day. We need you on board at whatever level is comfortable. You know, we are giving away two gorgeous Movado watches this evening at about 11.30 after the end of the evening of swing programming here on 13. The way you can qualify is by calling either the 212 number or the 800 number. Give the volunteer your name, your address, your telephone number. You don't have to pledge. We do hope that you will choose to pledge, but you don't have to. We only ask that those of you who do not choose to pledge wait until the end of this break uh, during the program to give us a call. Uh, don't let that offer go by. Give us your call and let us know that you're out there. Let us know that you care. That's what this time of year is all about. Please do call. It's so urgent that we hear from you. And now it's time to return to Jukebox Saturday Night, Part 2. If you prefer, mail your check to 13, 
Box 1313, New York, New York, 10101. Thank you. And it is my great pleasure to introduce to you once again the host of Jukebox Saturday Night 2. We've been friends for many years, Patty and I, performing together and appearing on uh, each other's television shows. In fact, my first date with my wife was a double date with Patty and her boyfriend. So it's, a, it's truly a, it's a genuine relationship we have. Um, I don't have to tell you, she's a Jukebox champion, sold something like 70 million records, 13 gold records, 13 gold records. And as I say, it's truly a great pleasure to introduce to you Miss Patty Page. Patty. When somebody loves you, it's no good unless he loves you. All the way. Happy to be near you when you need someone to cheer you. All the way, taller than the tallest tree, that's how it's got to be. Deeper than the deep blue sea, that's how deep it goes when it's real. And when somebody needs you, it's no good unless he needs you. All the way, through the good old lean and for all the in-between years. Come what may, who knows where that road will lead us, only a fool would say. But if you let me love you, it's for sure I'm gonna love you. Our next artist is part of a jukebox dynasty. Her father, Richard Whiting, composed hundreds of music classics. Now, his favorite songwriting partner, Johnny Mercer, was the man who persuaded her to become a professional performer. In her own right, her extraordinary versatility as a singer continues to grow, attracting new audiences every day. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Miss Margaret Whiting. Thank you. I heard that song before It's from an old familiar store I know it well, that melody 
It's funny how a thief brings back a favorite dream, a dream that brought you so close to me. I know each word because I've heard that song before. The lyrics say, You know, after many years of singing, I've got to tell you, I've heard a truly awesome amount of songs before. Some I'm not sure I want to hear again. But it's amazing to me how songs touch instant memory flashes. You know, you hear a song, and you're instantly reminded of your first kiss. Do you remember that? Your first love affair, past mistake. Past marriages. <laughs> well, here's three songs that conjure up very special memories for me. I want to see what they do for you. I'd get along without you very well. When soft rains fall and drip from leaves, then I recall the thrill of being sheltered in your arms, of course I do, but I get along without you. Very well I've forgotten you Just like I should Of course I have Except to hear your name Or someone's laugh That is the same but I've forgotten you just like I should. What a guy. What a fool am I to think this breaking heart could kid the moon. What's in store? Should I fall once more? No. It's best that I stick to my tune. I get along without you. Very well, of course I do, 
except perhaps in spring but I should never think of spring that would surely break my heart Here's one of the great Cole Porter songs that I love and adore. I get no kick from champagne, beer alcohol doesn't thrill me at all so tell me why should it be true that i get a kick out of you so get a kick from cocaine i'm sure that if i took even one sniff it would bore me terrifically too Still I get a kick out of you I get a kick every time I see You're standing there before me I get a kick favorite Johnny Mercer, Harold, Ar Harold Arlen song. That old black magic has me in its spell. That old black magic that you weave so well. Those icy fingers up and down my spine. Same old witchcraft when your eyes meet mine. Same old tingle that I feel inside. And then that elevator starts its ride and down and down i go round and round i go like a leaf that's caught in the tide i should stay away but what can i do i hear your name and i'm a flame a flame with such a burning desire that only your kiss You're the mate that fate had me created for And every time you lift me fly Darling, down and down I go Round and round I go in a spin Like that spin I'm in Under that old black magic called love Kiss can't put out the fire. For you're the lover I have waited for. You're the man. 
sound of doo can trace some of its roots back to the music you're about to enjoy. Close harmony, a uh, high tenor, a talking bass, these were the trademarks of a group of jukebox giants. Now, in the 30s and 40s, the Ink Spots were headliners on the jukebox hit parade. Carrying on their name and their music are Johnny Smith's new Ink Spots. <laughs> Some rain must fall through But she's falling in mind Look to each heart Some tears must fall Someday that sun will shine Now some folk can lose All the things in their heart Oh, but when I think of you you know another little job was also in to his guy. Some rain must fall, but too much is falling in the fall. Into his life, yes, some rain must fall, but too much, too much, too much is falling in the Into his heart. And drive away all your fears. Everything will come right if you'll only believe the gypsy. That my lover is true and will come back to me someday. Set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. In my heart, I have but one desire.
goodbye didn't care Would I feel this way If this isn't love Then why do I dream And what makes my head go round and round while my heart stands still if I didn't care would it be the same would my every prayer begin and end with just your name and would I Our next star had a big hit with a song that became a kind of jukebox national anthem. Now, as a child, she toured with Major Bowe's Amateur Hour. She sings everything from the big band charts of Basie to country and western. She's the sweetheart of the Nickelodeon, the little girl with the big voice, Miss Teresa Brewer. Terry?
Now, I'll be right back with Fran Warren and a medley of my favorite jukebox hits. But first, a few words from your public television station. More jukebox Saturday night coming up. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Teresa Brewer. If you're enjoying the show you're watching, I suggest you pick up your phone and make a pledge to public television. And uh, don't wait. Don't wait till tomorrow to do it. Just pick up your phone now and, and call it. Because the money you send in, we can do more of shows just like the one you're watching. So do it right now. Thank you, Teresa. Sounds like a good idea. How many of you are sitting out there enjoying this program and you haven't called? Thousands of you. How do I know that? That's what our research shows. There are thousands of you out there who watch Channel 13, hundreds of thousands, Dr. Baker says who watch every day, some of you, and who've always been meaning to join. People come up to me on the street all the time and say, oh, I just love Channel 13. And of course, I always say, are you a member? And most of them say, I'm going to join next time. Or a lot of them do say, I am a member. And we want to thank those of you who are already members. But a lot of people get kind of sheepish. Or they'll say to me, and I haven't joined yet, but I'm going to. Well, all of you who've, if all of you who've said that to me in the last, I don't know how many years I've been doing this, if all of you actually had become members, I think we wouldn't have any financial problems around here. So let's put your money where your mouth is here and where your viewership is, too, with Channel 13. Remember, this is the last weekend for this festival. We won't be here Monday night. Now, some of you are out there saying, well, that's good. But you know why we come to you. We come to you just a few times a year to get your feedback, to, to find out whether, in fact, this is the kind of programming you want to see in the future and to get your support so if it is the kind of programming you want to see in the future it'll be here for you it's as simple as that because public television means the public has to support us and the public isn't just some amorphous mass out there that's you each one of you out there watching you are a part of the public and each one of your calls is important to us we don't want to miss a single one so please we're looking for 9,000 calls by the end of the day so far about 3486 leaves us over 5,000 calls to go if all of you sitting out there smiling guiltily would just go to the phone and pledge whatever you can, we'd more, we'd probably double or triple this goal. How about it? Here's Dr. Bill Baker, our president. Thanks, Anna. I don't want to really be the guy that throws a dash of cold water on all of this glamorous evening, but 
Donna, we've got some big goals out there for tonight, and uh, the phones are ringing, but they're simply not ringing, ringing hard enough and long enough for the, the kinds of programs, that, for the kinds of costs we have to do these programs, both for you as a 13 viewer and for us who run this station in your name. I think I can say for the station and for our entire membership that we're thrilled with the numbers of you who have called since our festival began and who pledged your support as our newest members. But frankly, we still have a long way to go before we can count this drive as a success. 24 hours left before we wrap up the most important fundraising drive of the year. But the sooner you call and give us your help, if you like what you see on 13, please help us, the easier we'll feel about the future of this station. In the last few days, I think we've advanced almost every argument there is for support. But Margaret Whiting, this wonderful friend of ours, <laughs> what have, what, what, we've been trying everything. Can you think of anything we can tell the folks? Any well, ideas? Well, first of all, I've, I've heard something that was kind of alarming. One out of ten people are only our members That's of right. Channel 13. O only one well, in ten. Well, you know, if you want a nice-looking suit, you pay for it. If you want a nice looking dress, if you want a special dress, you go out. If you and I went out to dinner, we had a bottle of wine. I'd love to. <laughs> well, all right, fine. But if we went out to dinner, and we'd have to pay for mm -hmm. it. You know, I mean, we'd have to pay good price for a nice bottle of wine and everything. Well, if you want the best in broadcasting, you've got to pay for it. Now, I mean, comes the time we pay the piper. And to do a show like we're doing right now, Jukebox, Saturday night, two. Uh, it takes money. It was a gorgeous set and a lot of terrific performers and a whole crew. And this, this is a lot of money. And people I know love this show because, I, as I said, I've been over a lot of the country and they've come up to me. But uh, if you want something good, you've got to pay for it. So come on, get off your duffs there. Go to your checkbook and write the check and become a member like me. It's the only time I've been a member of something that I'm really thrilled about. So you've got to do it. Write that check and go right now. Thank you, Margaret. And thank you, those of you who are going to your phones. As you can see, we're doing fairly well, but we need more of you to come on board. And I hope that what I have to say right now can break down your resistance even more. Call right now and pledge $100, and we'll send you, as our thanks, a brilliant CD recording of the hits of the 40s and 50s. It, too, is called Jukebox Saturday Night. As soon as this drive is over, this hot-off-the-press recording will be on its way to you as our thank-you gift to you and an exclusive souvenir of this night. So call now. Now, the same classic music collection is yours on an audio cassette if you call us right away and pledge $60 or more. Now, if you're watching 13 for the very first time and you're wondering what all this excitement is about, it's very simple. We're trying to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars for the programs we broadcast, like the one you're watching right now. So, I have a suggestion for you. Call us right now and pledge $40, and we'll sign you up as our first-time member at this special rate. And like all our other membership levels, you'll be qualified to receive our monthly program guide for a year. Also, a personalized membership card, good for discounts at some 40 tri-state museums and theaters. And especially for you, as a first-time member, we'll send you, you guessed it, our signature tote. But there's more, believe it or not. Every member is entitled to use our cable television plan. Here's what that's all about. 13's March Festival of Programs will put you in the mood with that big band sound, the great pop favorites, and the king of swing himself. Big bands and jukebox giants, and they're only part of Festival 13. And if you join 13 right now, you'll receive a free cable connection or a free upgrade to a premium channel or an additional set. The time was never better to join 13 and help keep what matters in sight. Hello, I'm James Taylor, top tenor. And I'm Thurman Haynes, second tenor. And I'm Gail Davenport Bates. And I'm Johnny Smith, the leader of the New Ink Spots. And we all urge you to support public television. <laughs> a little extra nudge here, a little extra sweetener to get you to call if you've been waiting and haven't quite made the, uh, made the decision to call yet. Anyone who calls in tonight, whether you pledge or not, will be entered in our Movado sweepstakes. Now these are two Movado watches will be given away at the end of the evening.
to one of the people who's called in this evening. Now, they're worth $350 a piece. They're, a piece. they're really beautiful watches, the kind of thing that, you know, you might not treat yourself to. But you might be a winner tonight. If you call in and make a pledge, of course you're eligible. If you decide not to make a pledge, but you want to call in anyway, if you could wait till the show starts, because we'd like to make sure we get all the pledges in before the show starts. Whatever your reason for pledging, whether it's to enter in the Movado sweepstakes, whether it's to become a first-time member for $40, whether it's to get one of our great cassettes or CDs, the real important message I've got to get across tonight, and I wish I could say it in many different languages so I could take all of you in out there, please call and pledge, because your pledge is a vote for music in the future. And not only is it a vote, but the money that you pledge will help to pay for these programs. It's real simple. That's the message. Now give us a call. I just have to take a moment right now to say a word of thanks to all of you who've called during this drive and made a pledge. I'm especially grateful to the thousands of new folks who went for the full membership in this station. And if you're one of those, I want to personally, on behalf of the entire station and on behalf of all of your fellow members who continue to support programs year after year, say thank you. And Margaret, I want to say thank you for being a member for so many years. Every year, you put your money where your heart is by writing this station a check, performing in programs that we produce, and loving this place. What are some of the reasons why you care so much about this station? Well, I like what you broadcast. You have wonderful shows, and you get a gift. <laughs> like, this is my 18th tote bag. But uh, really, the programming is superior to any other station that I've seen. And I love the kind of shows that you do right here, like our jukebox Saturday night, number two. And uh, like I love nature, and, I, and I, have, uh, I have a special love for your nature shows. I watch each and every one of them that comes on. You have a pet? I have a rabbit. A rabbit in I New York? I have a real live rabbit in New York. Mm -hmm. Lives in the apartment, mm -hmm. rules the roof there, but uh, my friend Jack, and Bunny and I watch all the nature shows. They're particularly great. Tell the story about your umbrella. Oh, today it was raining and I was at the beauty shop across the street from where I live. And I said, I gotta have an umbrella. I, I've gotta do the pictures tonight. I can't have my hair look a mess. So somebody said, well, just take one of the umbrellas. And I opened it up outside and it said, channel 13. I said, this must be a sign, but it was great. I think I'm on. I was so busy listening to Margaret over there, I got transfixed. You know, the phones are really busy, and I think Margaret is good luck for us. She's definitely doing it. So thank you for coming by, Margaret, and thanks to those of you who've called. It looks like most of our volunteers are busy here. If you can't get through on the phones, please don't give up. Jot those numbers down on your screen. You can see them right there, and call us during the show if you can't get through. We don't want to miss a single call. You know, we have volunteers. One of the gals was talking to me. She said she's been coming and being a, a phone volunteer during our pledge drive since we were actually using the studios in Astoria, Queens. That was a long time ago. That's before I came on board. Some of these people are so loyal because they really believe in the station. They give up their nights off to come down here and answer your calls. They like talking to you. We like hearing from you. We hope that you enjoy being part of the 13 family. It's one of those rare situations where you can actually put your money for something you believe in and see it on the screen in the, in the following year and see that you've actually paid for the programs you're watching. You've actually made a difference, and that doesn't happen too often in this complicated world of ours. So please, if, you have, if you've been waiting to call, now's the time to do it. Now, here's a message from tonight's host who couldn't be with us because of prior engagements, but here she is on tape to sing and rage, Miss Patty Page. Hi, I'm Patty Page, and if you are enjoying this show, we would like to know it by your pledging. We need your money. We need your pledge. Please call us now. Well, our goal for this evening, 9,000 new members. Where are we right now? 3,486, as Donna mentioned. We've got 5,514 new members to go. The question is, I ask this over and over again, can we do it? I believe we can if each and every one of you goes to the phone and pledges whatever you can. The phones are doing absolutely beautifully. You know, it's so encouraging to hear these phones ring because it means that you're out there. 
it means that you care about uh, the next year of programming here on 13. So keep up the good work. Thank you very, very much. We've talked a lot about our premiums that we're offering you. We're offering you uh, jukebox Saturday night. We're offering you tickets to the theater. But the real thing that we're offering you, and we can't say this enough, the real thing that we're offering you is another year's worth of quality programming here on 13. So again, keep up the good work. Keep these volunteers uh, busy. Keep the smiles on their faces. Thank you very, very much. Now over to Bill Baker. Well, the uh, phones are ringing, but uh, I see Larry Lynn over there, and he's still, uh, his phone still hasn't rung, so we don't know what's going on. And as early as next Monday, my staff and I, George Miles, begin the annual, annual budget process, and of course, programs like Jukebox Saturday Night and other annual events, along with our ongoing series, come up for review. And as a broadcaster, of course, I can get very excited about the incredible programs that we see before us each year. But as the president of 13, we have to be careful about how you want us to spend your pledge contribution. A lot of what gets passed on and, uh, and a lot of what gets turned down depends on what you at home support through fundraising drives like this one tonight. I make no promises at this moment, but I do urge you to call and make yourself heard through the power of your pledge, and that empowers us. That's what this drive is all about, too, in, in addition to just raising money. So please, I urge you to call and pledge whatever you can if these are the kinds of programs that you want to have on 13. And now, before we return to the program, Margaret, uh, thank you. you. You're so great to be with us oh, and thanks, to be thanks. on the programs. Any, uh, any last good words for, for your friends? Well, I just want to say thank you for enjoying and watching Jukebox Saturday Night 2. And I want you to do what I just did a few minutes ago. It's very simple. Get a check, get a pen, fill it out to Channel 13. We need it here because there it is. We want to keep check. doing the kind of shows that they do here. I sit at home and watch them, and I know you do too. So please do me a favor. Get your pen, get your check, fill it out, send it tonight or tomorrow morning because you're buying the best in programming. Thanks again, Margaret. My thanks. It's a real treat, as always, to have you here. And before we return to the final set of Jukebox Saturday Night from the ballroom of New York's Marriott Marquis on Broadway, I want you to see what we've planned for you tomorrow night, when I just know you'll be here as a member. All I want is a room somewhere. Eliza Doolittle meets Victor Victoria, Mary Poppins, Maria Von Trapp, and thoroughly modern Millie. When everybody's favorite fair lady puts on a show. Baby, you're holding my soul together. It's Julie Andrews in concert, so you know it's going to be a great performance. With the sound of music. That program looks terrific. What a way for us to go out at the end of this pledge drive. But you know, it's not over yet. We're still looking for over 5,000 calls tonight, and I think we can do it. If each one of you out there who's considering calling would just say, okay, I'm going to do it, and just get to your phone right now. We're going back to the program in just a moment, but before we do, let me remind you about the Movado Watch sweepstakes. At the end of the evening, we'll be drawing the names of two people who've called in today, and the, the ones that we draw will be given a Movado Watch. You'll be the winner of this $350 value watch. It's a real classic, and uh, I think it's something that you'll always appreciate. It'll last you a lifetime. And you can win it tonight if you're in the drawing, but you can't win unless you've called in. Now, if you don't feel like pledging when you call, we wish you would, but if you don't feel like pledging, that's okay. You can still be in, uh, entered in the sweepstakes, but if you could wait to call until after the program started so we can make sure we get all the pledge calls, because it's been very busy. We don't want to miss any of the calls. There's a free phone up there, a gal in a red uh, blouse up there waiting, somebody over here in a green blouse in St. Patrick's Day waiting to get your call. I know there are a lot of you out there in the tri-state area who depend on Channel 13. To say, like Margaret Whiting, this is the best television around, but you haven't quite made the commitment to become a member. It's very easy. You don't have to do anything except say, I'm committed to public television, and I'm going to put my money where my viewership is. And then we take it from there. We take your programming dollars. We count them as a vote for this kind of programming. We bring you this kind of programming in the future. We try to bring you the best quality we can, for the least amount of dollars that we can because we want to make your dollars work as hard as they can for programming because that's our mandate as a public television station we don't have a lot of commercials we don't fill the airwaves with soap and dog food and all that sort of thing we're not trying to sell you anything 
What we're trying to give you is good television, and we hope that you'll give us your support. That's the whole idea of these pledge drives. So if you're waiting to see the program, here it is coming right at you, I hope, as a member. Thanks. If you prefer, mail your check to 13, Box 1313, New York, New York, 10101. and colors of the jukebox were a magnet for kids who were seeking the sounds of the big bands and the great singers. We jitterbugged and slow danced and fell in love to those songs that we're about to hear from our next guest. She worked with Charlie Barnett and Claude Thornhill and has a special way of making a lyric so warm and personal it seems like it was written just for you. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Fran Warren. I last sang with Claude Thornhill. He thought it was time for me to go out on my own, and with his help, I became Fran Warren performer. This is the beautiful Claude Thornhill sound, and because of songs like this, he's still here with us tonight. 
I remember you. You're the one who made my dreams come true. A few kisses ago. Duke Ellington. Oh, Duke Ellington. Duke Ellington had one of the greatest swing jazz big bands of the era. He was not only a great band leader, he was also a marvelous writer of music. We put a few of his songs together, and I'm sure you not only remember them, but you've probably played them on a jukebox and danced to them and even sang them. Do not send him to hear from me. Pay no attention to what's said. Why people tear the seams of anyone's dream. It's over my head. Do nothing till you hear from me. At least consider how wrong I If you should take the words of others you heard I have a good chance
it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Don't mean a thing, all you gotta do is swing. Thank you, Fran. We have uh, put together a medley of a few of the other songs that have been so very good to me. Thanks again to all of you during these many, many years. And hopefully you plunked a few nickels or dimes into your jukebox to listen to them. Starting with this one. We I'm holding you close to my heart I'm so afraid to close my eyes Afraid that I'll find That this lovely thrill is just a silly illusion With my eyes wide open Doggy in the window, the one with the waggly chair. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that doggy's for sale. I must take a trip to California and leave my poor sweetheart alone. If he has a dog, he won't be lonesome, and the doggy will have a good home. Doggy in the window, the one with the waggly chair. How much is that doggy in the van? I do hope those doggies are for sale. I think I'll just walk down here and say hello to you, nice people. How you doing? If you find a sand dunes and salty air, quaint little villages here and there, you're sure to fall in love with old, thank you, Cape Cow. That old Cape Cow. If you like the taste of a lobster stew, served by a window. Hi there. Winding roads that seem to beckon you. Miles of green beneath the sky of blue. Doing okay, Mom? Church bells chiming on a Sunday morning. Remind you of the town where you were born. Ah. If you spend an evening, you'll want to stay Watching the moonlight on Cape Cod Bay You're sure to fall in love with old Cape Cod How pretty you are. See, you weren't even a dream when these songs were recorded. But I'm glad you're here. You're sure to
to fall in love with old King Cow. See the pyramids along the Nile and watch the sun rise from a tropic eye. Thank you. But remember, darling, all the while. Thank you. You belong to me. How you doing? Fly the ocean in a silver plane and see the jungle when it's wet with rain. That's very nice. Thank you. But remember, till you're home again.
Yes, I lost my little darling The night they were playing The beautiful chin I see Yes, I lost my little darling The night they were playing The beautiful tears And may I thank you for being such a great audience tonight. You were wonderful. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for supporting public television. We need all the help we can get. Thank you. This entire event was made possible because 13's membership wanted to bring you Jukebox Saturday Night one more time. And while tonight's performers take their final bows, get ready to give us a call in our studio where Margaret Whiting is standing by, hoping you'll say hello and make a pledge to her favorite station to which she belongs as a member too. And so while you're waiting around for a fabulous tribute to the music of Benny Goodman with guest Rosemary Clooney, give us a call and make a membership pledge in just a moment from now. Help to make things right Make your hot naked with vanilla Jukebox Saturday night Julius La Rosa Now they put nothing past us Me and Honey Lamb Making one Coke last us Till it's time to scram Well, my choir sister program was made possible by the financial support of viewers like you. Additional funding was provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The local presentation of the preceding program was made possible by the Greater New York Automobile Dealers Association, sponsors of the International Auto Show at Javits Center, April 14th through April 22nd. Public television is important to me as a viewer, as I'm sure it is to you, because of good programming. And this is the best of them all. So you must contribute. You must contribute to get this kind of broadcasting. My name is Fran Warren. Please send in your contribution and make a pledge. Thanks, Fran. Don't go away. We have got more music coming up with Benny Goodman here on 13. We're having such a good time, an evening of wonderful music programs here on your public television station. But it is also a rather serious time for us because we have a, a quite a substantial goal to reach by the end of the evening. 9,000 new members. Well, currently we have 4,313. Thank you very much. But that means that we have 4,687 to go. We're barely halfway there. 
and we need you to come on board because this is the final weekend uh, after tomorrow evening. Oop, we'll be gone and we will then sit down, we'll tally up all the votes for programs, we'll add up all the dollars, and we'll decide what kinds of programs we can afford to bring you for the coming year. So if you love music programs, if you've come to count on them here on 13, now is the time to let us know. Cast your vote in the strongest way possible for more music programming here on 13 with a telephone call and a pledge of support. Thank you very much. The phones are beginning to warm up. We need more of you, though, to go to the phones and pledge your support. Jack. Thank you, Midge. Well, it's been quite a night, and it's going to be quite a night. We are delighted that those of you who called us here in our studio to give us your pledge of support and your votes of confidence prove that there is still a lot of magic and sentimental value in the great songs of the 40s and 50s. It, it was, and it still is, a lovely party we're having. And still to come, of course, the music of Benny Goodman and Rosemary Clooney singing some all-time hits. So, until that moment arrives, now is the time to give us a call and applaud with your pledge. Member Dollars made it possible, made it possible for you at home to watch this beautiful music and the music to come. Your member dollars tonight can make more specials like Jukebox Saturday Night 2, a regular part of our programs. Now, still with me this evening is the fabulous Margaret Whiting, undeniably one of the great vocal stylists of, of our time, and uh, also Dr. Bill Baker, the president of Channel 13 here. We'll get right back to these two folks, but first, let's check in with Donna Drews, who will tell us all about the great thank yous we have when you make your call and your pledge. Donna? Thank you, Jack, and that's what I have for you at home, too, when you call right now and make a membership pledge. You can call them premiums, you can call them bonuses, you can call them souvenirs of tonight or tokens. What my list comes down to is this. What I'm going to describe is our thanks for your call. So here we go. Pledge $100 or more, and you'll soon get out to your house a brilliant uh, CD of all the great classic hits from the swing era, performed by the original bands and vocalists who made them hits three and four decades ago made the musical standards forever. Pledge $60 or more and your membership package will include an audio cassette of the same CD. That CD, by the way, just, just being produced in time for tonight's event, the wonderful souvenir. Now, for all of you viewers who are ready to take the membership plunge for the very first time because of Jukebox Saturday Night Number 2, then go for our introductory membership offer discounted just for you. Pledge $40. Their special thanks to you will be our classic navy blue tote, plus all the other benefits that come with every membership level, and they are our monthly program guide for a year, a membership card good for discounts at 40 museums and theaters all throughout the tri-state area, and cable installation or upgrades if you live in a cabled area and your local franchise is part of our deal. And don't go away, we have more. Take a look. Climb aboard for a musical treat, the best family entertainment on Broadway. Meet me in St. Louis and climb aboard the 13 bandwagon at the same time. The show's producers have set aside a limited number of choice seats for 13 viewers who call our 800 number and make a credit card pledge of $150. We thank everyone at Meet Me in St. Louis for their generous help, and we'll thank you, too, with a pair of tickets for their wonderful show. Grand Hotel, the most exciting, most elegant, most sophisticated musical in town. It's Tommy Toon's grandest show, and its producers have made a very grand offer to 13. They've set aside a limited number of choice seats for us to offer during this campaign. You can reserve a pair as thanks for phoning our 800 number and making a $150 credit card pledge to 13. Our thanks to Grand Hotel for helping to welcome you into our 13 family. If you're tuning in for Benny Goodman, welcome to our pledge drive, the final weekend of our pledge drive here at 13. Things have gotten to the crucial point here on this final weekend. We've got a lot of catching up to do, and we're counting on you. Yes, those of you who haven't gone to the phone, we're counting on you to do so right away. We always say this, but we really mean it. Whatever is comfortable for you, whether it's $5 or $10, $40 is our introductory level, and it gets you all the wonderful things that come with being a member here at 13, 60, 100, $1,000, whatever's right for you, but we do need everyone to go to the phones and help make our final weekend a resounding success. 
We're giving away two gorgeous Movado watches this evening around about 11.30. I think we'll choose the winner. All you have to do is call the 212 number or the 800 number. Uh, leave uh, your name, your address, and your telephone number. You don't have to pledge, but we do hope that you will choose to do so. You don't have to pledge, but what we do ask is that those of you who don't want to pledge, we ask that you wait until the show begins to give us a call so we can leave all the phones available for pledges. And before we go to our musical salute uh, to Benny Goodman here, here once again is our musical host for tonight's event with a call to you for supporting 13. When I watch public television, I want to watch something. It's good music, science, nature, all those things that you can't get on regular television, we have on public television. So we need your pledges to keep on doing that. And as Midge was reminding us a moment or two ago, we still have some way to go to reach our goal by midnight tomorrow night, and it is up to you, watching and sitting around at home right now, whether one of our big fundraising drives, our biggest of the year, winds up successfully or not. We've been saying over and over again that it is not how much you pledge, but it is important, it is critical, that you call and pledge whatever you can to get us to our goals. In just a moment, Bill Baker, the president of 13, will tell us what those goals really mean for the months ahead. But right now, Margaret Whiting is with us also. And, and once again, I want to ask her. She's one of the stars of the show we are watching tonight, and that means a lot to us. But I'd like to know, again, what 13, in the final analysis, means for you, Margaret. Well, it means a lot. You know, we've talked tonight about musical shows. Of course, the jukebox Saturday Night 2 was on, and... Benny Goodman and Rosemary Clooney and the marvelous Benny Goodman band are going to come on soon. And we have the Glenn Miller band with Kate Starr and Jack Jones. So it's a musical evening. But I was, uh, I, I saw a show the other night. I was in bed and I sat up and I, I let out a scream. I said, it's the best thing I've ever seen on television. I don't know the name of it. It was Elaine Stritch and Gene Simmons. And they did this, this show, this dramatic show. I've never seen such acting. And more people were talking about these performances was the great masterpiece uh, masterpiece theater masterpiece yeah. theater it was just brilliant that's what's outstanding about channel 13 some of the dramatic shows i've talked about nature programs i've talked about the news i've talked about the musical shows but the drama is wonderful and i love the theater i love drama so i sit at home a great deal people don't believe this but i do and i sit glued to channel 13 and i'm not paid to say this this is sincere. I love Channel 13, so come on. Pen, check, write. We need you. We need your pledges. Margaret, even easier. You can just, you can just let them call. Well, and, okay. um, and maybe it was American Playhouse you saw. I'd like to get back to our pledge goals for just a minute. Those numbers did, just didn't come out of a hat. As I mentioned earlier, that all of us here are about to begin the annual budget process and what's going to decide what projects move ahead and which ones fall by the wayside is about the amount of money we're raising tonight and tomorrow night. Our goal for this drive is to have some 40,000 of you at home climb on board our bandwagon. We're well on the way to achieving that goal, but given the time we have left, there's still a lot that needs to be done, and each call represents a few dollars more towards completing an important project for broadcast this year and important acquisitions from other stations and abroad to enrich your viewing schedule and of course the independence and integrity of our public affairs schedule i'd like to go on to detail but we don't have time right now just know that each one of you is critical to what we're trying to do here in the next few weeks and months ahead and what i say when i say that the future of this station is in your hands at this very moment i mean it what you do right now is going to affect this station for some time to come. I urge you to give us a call, make a membership pledge, or pledge whatever you can. And I urge you to do that right now. Now let's hear from Mitch. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Bill. Well, Bill was talking about our goals. Again, our goal for this evening is 9,000 new members. Currently, we have 4,313, which means that we have 4,687 to go. We're just barely halfway there. So, folks, you must understand how vital it is that you do go to the phone and pledge your support. Maybe you're one of the ones who, over the years, has sat back and said, Oh, not this pledge drive. Well, why not this pledge drive? We do need you to come on board. Every pledge is important to us, whether it's $40 or $1,000. Those pledge dollars add up to more terrific programming 
here on your public television station. That's what it's all about. We wouldn't be here without those pledge dollars. Again, we do have two beautiful watches, Movado watches, to give away this evening. All you have to do to qualify is dial the 212 number or the 800 number. Give one of our volunteers this terrific group. Give them your name, your address, your telephone number. And we'll put your card into the bin and we'll choose the winners at about uh, 11.30 or so this evening. So give us a call. Donna, what can we do to get these phones to ring? I don't know, Mitch. I know there are a lot of people out there who've been enjoying the show and the phones were very, very busy, but we've got a lull now. So now's the time to get on the phone and call us if you were waiting to do that before and you couldn't get through. Remember, if you'd like to join as a first-time member, if you've been motivated tonight to join because of this program, Jukebox Saturday Night Number 2. We'll let you join for $40. That's a special introductory offer. And with that, you get our famous tote bag, our ticket to the arts, and a program guide every month for a year. You can afford a $60 pledge. You'll get all those things, plus a cassette of Jukebox Saturday Night. Some terrific music reminds you of the night that you became a member of 13. For $100, you can get those same songs for on CD. That's for a $100 pledge. Now, if you love the theater like I do, and you'd love to go and spend some money at the theater, and that it will also go to 13, how about a $150 pledge, and you can get two tickets to Meet Me in St. Louis. That's on Tuesday, May the 8th, or Grand Hotel, Thursday, May the 3rd. However, if you do want those theater tickets for $150, that's two tickets, by the way, for $150. You need to call and give us your credit card number. That's so we can make sure we get those tickets to you on time. But whatever your reason for calling, now is the time to do it. This is our final weekend of the festival. We don't come to you like this very often, and we do it because we have to do it, because we need public support to keep this television station going. We need it for the programming. We need it for the engineers. We need it for program development. We need it to bring you the quality television that you deserve. That's why we're here. So let's get these phones ringing. Let's make this a successful campaign. And now a final message from one of the stars of tonight's Jukebox Saturday Night and one of 13's greatest fans and supporters. Hello, I'm uh, John Bartholomew Tucker, and I have a great idea for you. Now, you're obviously enjoying yourself, or yourselves, or more, I can't tell how many are in there, with this wonderful show, but if you want to have some more fun, here's what you do. You go get your checkbook and get a pen, and write a check out. I, you know, I could suggest some numbers, but you can figure it out for yourself. That's fun. You figure out, now, how much shall I give my local PBS station? Because, you see, it's your dollars, and I say that in plural, your dollars, plural, that make a show like this possible, or any show on PBS. And we have some good ones. So uh, this is old JBT, as my friends call me, uh, old generous, about to pull out my checkbook, go back and do some more shows for PBS. I hope, but that depends on you. See, don't you feel better just thinking about it? Okay. Well, I had to say something, so it seemed to make sense to say, give some money, okay, to PBS. And I thank you. Thanks, JVT. And thanks uh, of all of us here tonight to Margaret Whiting for being with us. I loved it. From Bill know. Baker, who yes, is always with us. Jack, you're wonderful, too. Thank you for being with us. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, because you are the only reason any of us is here and I guess vice versa. Midge. Thanks a lot, Jack. If you've got your television set on, no doubt you are tuned in for a great evening of entertainment with Benny Goodman. It is coming up in just a moment. In case you haven't heard, this is the final weekend of our pledge drive, and we are encouraging those of you who haven't gone to the phone and pledged your support, we're encouraging you to do so this very weekend because we are behind, but we do believe that we can catch up if we reach as many of you as we possibly can, and if you do go to the phone. We are giving away two beautiful watches, Movado watches. They can be yours if you are chosen as the winner. All you have to do is uh, call in on either the 212 number or the 800 number, leave your name, address, and telephone number, and we'll put your card into a bin, and about 11.30 tonight, we'll choose the winners. As we've said in the past, you don't have to pledge. We do, uh, we do hope very much that you will choose to pledge, but you don't have to pledge in order to qualify. Uh, you can become a first-time member here at 13 for as little as $40, and that qualifies you for a year's worth of our program guide, our tote bag, and your ticket to the arts. Take a look. The exclusive 13 membership card, your personal ticket to the arts. Once you're a 13 member, Tri-State Museums and Stages offer special discounts whenever they see your ticket to the arts at their doors. Here's what's going on at just some of these places to visit.
The intrepid Sea Air Space Museum on Manhattan's Hudson River salutes Italy's contribution to the world of aviation, from Da Vinci's early dreams to high-tech flight today. The Museum of Broadcasting invites every 13 member to its April seminars, You Can't Do That on Television, hosted by Morley Safer, April 3rd, and a night with TV creator Sheldon Leonard, with highlights from a long career. Broadway's Circle in the Square wraps up its 38th anniversary season with the American premiere of Zoya's Apartment, a delightful social romp by Russia's Mikhail Bulgakov, with previews starting April 20th and opening night on May the 2nd. The National Academy of Design has a remarkable exhibition of the Zuccaro Brothers drawings, with more than 100 artworks by Federico and Tadeo from the 1550s up to 1600. The new Museum of Contemporary Art displays Mary Kelly's Interim, an important four-part project on growing up and growing old described in vital imagery and personal penmanship. The Queen's Museum in Flushing on March the 31st opens an exhibition of Cynthia Carlson's art, several recreations of her huge wall installations from various American sites. The Roundabout Theater invites every 13 member to use his or her discount privilege to see The Crucible, Arthur Miller's classic staged by Gerald Friedman. Whole Theater in the New Jersey town of Montclair presents William Mastro Simone's A Stone Carver beginning March the 20th. And Whole Theater's director Olympia Dukakis offers discount tickets to all U13 members. For additional information about these events and others, call this members only number weekdays 10 to 4. Your 13 membership is your ticket to the arts. <laughs> If you prefer, mail your check to 13, Box 1313, New York, New York, 10101. This program is made possible by the financial support of viewers like you. gentlemen, the King of Swing, Mr. Benny Goodman.
Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, among the many things I wanted to do in my musical career, I think one of the one of the first ones in mind was to be able to arrange and orchestrate like Fletcher Henderson. <clears throat> now, uh, Fletcher, if, if you don't know about him, was one of the great orchestras of the 20s and the early 30s. And the, uh, the fascination with his arrangements was, was endless. What I mean is, you, you, you heard it the first time, and you hear it, hear it again, and you always hear something different. And that's why I really thought he was a genius. Uh, and that's the reason I'm really dedicating this program uh, to Fletcher Henderson. <laughs>
the noted American composer, conductor, pianist, and arranger, a close friend and colleague of Benny Goodman, Morton Gould. You know, Benny is notoriously absent-minded. Uh, as an example, one time, he jumped into a cab, thought for a moment, and said to the driver, how much do I owe you? <laughs> so you see, Benny can be forgetful. It never occurred to him, for example, that there was any reason why black and white musicians shouldn't appear on the same stage together. Being a good musician was all that counted. And as Benny once said to Lionel Hampton, for a piano to work, it's got to have white keys and black keys. One night at a party at Red Norville's house, Benny heard a young black pianist he knew. Soon after, Benny asked the musician to join with him, Gene Krupa, to form the famous Benny Goodman Trio. When they performed at an Easter Sunday concert in Chicago in 1936, it was the first time black and white musicians had ever played together before a paying audience. That gifted pianist That gifted pianist who helped Benny make history is here with us tonight, Teddy Wilson.
a man who's in love with American popular music, one of our finest cabaret performers, Mr. Bobby Short. Thank you. As a young boy working in Vaudeville, I was billed as the miniature king of swing. But I was as the pretender to the throne. Swing was everything then, and everything began and ended with the great Benny Goodman. He played with all the great instrumentalists. Singers loved him too. On records, you could always hear Benny playing solo behind the likes of Bing Crosby, Ethel Waters, Ross Colombo, Ruth Eddings, and Billie Holiday. There's one more singer with whom Benny recorded in those early years, the legendary Bessie Smith. I didn't become familiar with her until I was a teenager long after her death. Bessie's low-down blues singing wasn't considered proper of where and when I was growing up. Bessie Smith was a superstar in the 1920s, but the blues lost her popularity and she stopped recording. In 1933, November, John Hammond brought her north to record for her last time. It's a tribute to her talent that backing her up were superb musicians as Chu Barry, Buck Washington, Frankie Newton, Jack T. Garden, and Benny Goodman. Here to help us recreate that session, singing one of the songs recorded that historic day, is one of today's finest blues singers, Carrie Smith. <laughs> Cents to go in nowhere up in Harlem every Saturday night. The highbrows get together, it's just too tight. They all congregated in all night's church. And what they do is tut tut tut. Oh, Hannah Brown comes the way across town, gets full of porn and start drinking it down just about the break of day. You could hear old Hannah say, give me a pig foot and a bottle of beer. Send me, I don't care. I feel like I want a clown. Give me Hannah play a drink because he's bringing me down. He got a rhythm. When he stops his speech, you know he sent me right off my seat. Check all your rings. very much. Back in 1918, they wrote a funny little song with a funny little title. They called it Jada, and it goes like this. Jada, 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 Jing, Jing, Jing. Jada, 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 Jing, Jing, Jing. Oh, what a cute little melody. It's so soothing and appealing to me. So, Jada, 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 Jing, Jing, Jing. I say, Jada, Jada, Jing, Jing, Jing. Ding, ding, ding. 
sweet melody. It's so soothing and appealing to me. Do da 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 ding ding ding. I say da 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 ding ding ding. Now you haven't heard anything until you hear the saxophone play da da. You haven't heard anything till you hear the brass do Jada. Sing it. Now it's your turn. Here we go.
John Bartholomew Tucker and Benny Goodman Let's Dance will continue in just a few moments after this opportunity to help keep the music coming. When you pledge your support to public television, you're saying, I care enough about the type of programs I see to help pay for them. That's why we're bringing you Benny Goodman Let's Dance. Join thousands of people all across the country who've made this show possible by making a pledge to public television. Thank you. Benny Goodman fans, we are delighted to have you as viewers with us here on 13 this evening, but I'll tell you something, we would be ecstatic to have you as members. In case you haven't heard, this is the final weekend. We have reached a very crucial point in our pledge drive because this is the final Saturday evening, and yes, we are behind, but we have faith. We believe that you're out there. We believe that you can make these telephones ring. If we tell you, if we relay the message to you as urgently as possible, our goal this evening was 9,000 new members. We currently have 4,868, and we'd like to thank those of you who have taken the time to call, but we've got 4,132 more members to gather into the fold by the end of this evening. A very substantial goal. It's a risk, in fact. If you're out there, if you're enjoying the program, if you'd like to see more of it here on 13, it's up to you to make it possible with your pledges of support. It doesn't happen any other way. As a matter of fact, this particular program, Benny Goodman Let's Dance, was produced by Channel 13 for the national system. It was made possible by none other than your member dollars. We want to be able to produce more of these kinds of programs for the coming year, but we can't do it without your help. So please, answer our pleas and go to your phones, pledge whatever you can, whether it's $5, $10, $40 will make you an official member, 60, 100, 1,000, whatever's right for you, but please, go over to the phone right away and make that telephone call. Over to you, Jack. Hi, thank you very much. I'm Jack Perkins, and with me at this, uh, the, the people who invite guests who have a perverse sense of humor, who do they get to come in late, <laughs> can be early, <laughs> the star of all my children. How nice to have you with us. Thank you, Jack. It's good to be here, you know, even after my bedtime. Yeah, I imagine it is. Yeah. Working the soap there is not the easiest life in the world, and we appreciate your, your, your staying well, up I'm after I'm glad you asked me to come. Um, Let's talk for a moment about Benny Goodman. We're listening to the wonderful music and the tribute to Benny Goodman. He, he, he died, of course, four years ago. Uh, friends and admirers hailing him as one of music's brightest stars. And as is the case with so many success stories, he started from beginnings that were quite humble. The eighth of 12 children born to immigrant parents. Benny didn't start playing the clarinet until he was 10. And you can take the story from there, Candy. All right, I sure will. Well, it seems that the local synagogue loaned out musical instruments and gave lessons. Now, Harry, who was the largest of the Goodman boys, got a tuba. The next largest boy got a trumpet. And Benny got a clarinet. In later years, he wondered what kind of career he would have had if, in his own words, he had been 20 pounds heavier and two inches taller. <laughs> All right, enough with the history lesson. On to tonight's news. Donna, take it away. <laughs> I love that story. It's very weird. Yeah, what if he decided to take up the drums or something else? You know, we've got a special premium tonight that should interest big bands, die-hard fans, Goodman and others, and new fans, too. Take a look. The irresistible tunes that resounded all across the country during the 30s and 40s. The music that's left an indelible mark on American pop. Glenn Miller, Duke Ellington, Artie Shaw, Tommy Dorsey, Benny Goodman. The Kings of Swing put you in the mood with this colossal two-record collection of big band favorites. Whether you want to dance, romance, sit back and reminisce, or satisfy your curiosity about the sound of swing, there's a chance to help yourself to some definitive big band bliss. The compact disc is yours to enjoy for a pledge of $100, or ask for the cassette when you join at the $60 level. It's an offer too sensational to pass up. You know, as Midge said at the top of this break, this is a very important time for us. Your calls now are really crucial, and that's no joke. Because tomorrow's the last day of the drive, and we need your support to help us meet our goal. Now, as you just heard, you can make a pledge of $60 for a cassette copy of In the Mood, or $100 for the CD, but you can pledge any amount. If you've never belonged before and would like to finally join the 13 gang, go for it. We have a special $40 first-timer membership that entitles you to our monthly program guide, a 
membership card that doubles as a discount pass to many theaters and museums. And your first 13 tote bags. The fashion ensemble just isn't complete without them, of course. And Margaret Whiting was here. She's got 18. You can get your first one with $40. And you also get our free cable installation offer. If you already have cable, though, we'll give you more. We'll either extend your existing service to a second set, or we'll set you up with one of the premium channels. Now, this offer is good on standard cable connections in cable serviceable areas from participating companies only. Did you get all that? What a mouthful. Now, let's go back to Jack and let him have a shot at convincing you to join now, if I can. Oh, John A., I hope I can. I want to make you at home aware of a very important fact. Member dollars uh, have no strings attached. They are what we refer to as discretionary funds. Money that can be tied into any project that we think might interest you. This is the money we use to experiment, to plan, to test ideas, to get things started. And special events like today's music marathon, like last Saturday's music marathon, or weekly series that have a great impact on our audience. Series like Nature, the American Playhouse. Programs that reflect the times. Projects that serve the needs of our tri-state area, like our community outreach efforts. I guess there is not a whole lot of time, Jack, to explore all the ways that member dollars keep 13 responsive to the needs of our audience. And there is precious little time left in this drive for you to do your share. Tomorrow is the last day of the drive, so please don't even wait for tomorrow to make your call. Do it now. Midge, my fellow Oklahoman, what's the latest on the phones? Thanks a lot, Candy. Well, the phones are doing fairly well. It is late on this Saturday evening. We know that a few more of you out there are sitting back and saying, maybe not tonight. We do need you on board this very evening. It's the final weekend. I'd like to see all of our volunteers busy before the break ends, and you can make it happen. You know, I was sitting here looking around the set, noticing the names of all the terrific programs that we offer you throughout the year. We've got Frontline, Nature, uh, the musical, Cinematech, great performances, Moyer Special, Sesame Street. Something for each and every member of the family. Something that I'm sure you have on your roster each and every week not to miss. Well, the important thing to understand is that if you count on us for these programs throughout the year, we count on you to make these programs possible. It's as simple as that, and that's exactly where your pledge dollars go. They go directly into programming. So if you've been thinking about it, now is the time. If you love the programs you watch here on 13, it is vital that you give us a call. Donna? Indeed, that's true. And if you'd like to get a copy of In the Mood, which you're hearing there in the background, a cassette is $60, a CD is $100. You can pledge $150. You can get tickets to see Meet Me in St. Louis. Or you can get tickets to see Grand Hotel. You can also get tickets for Lettuce and Lovage. And these are credit card calls only, by the way. You know, the other day I was on the subway, and this guy came up and he said, Oh, I recognize you. You're the lady from Channel 13. I said, That's right. He said, Don't you get sick of begging all the time? And I said, You know, I don't think of it as begging. I really don't. I don't think of myself as someone who's here with a tin cup saying, Please give me money. Please give me money. No. For number one, you're not giving me the money. You're giving the money to your station for your program. I think of myself as a communicator, someone who's up here to give you the message. And once you get the message, you'll call because it's just logical. So if you're not calling, I guess I haven't gotten through to you. Maybe Midge and Jack haven't gotten through to you, maybe Candy. But we hope that we'll, we'll think of some way to get through to you because we've tried everything. We've tried premiums. We've tried uh, the idea. Midge was just mentioning all the programs that your dollars pay for. You bring in guests here. We bring you terrific programs because we want you to know how important you are to us. You are the public in public television. And that doesn't mean some other guy or some other gal. That means you, okay? So if you're out there watching saying, I wish they'd stop begging, don't think of it as begging. Think of it as just trying to communicate a message to you, trying to get you to get up and go to that phone to pay for the programs that you enjoy so you can enjoy them in the future. That's the message. Did you get it? Here's Candy. Now, as we've been telling you all day, tomorrow is the last day of Festival 13. Don't let this pledge drive go by without your support. Please, please do your part to make this drive a success. We are a public station, and as such, we are only as strong as our public, and that's you, allows us to be. Call now. Collaboration is the key for what lies ahead. In the months ahead, 13 will raise the curtain on some of the most eagerly awaited performances on any stage. 
Coming in June, it's the event the opera world has been waiting for. The Metropolitan Opera's complete ring cycle. Wagner's thrilling masterpiece in its entirety. And next season on Great Performances, Samuel Ramey is the devilish lead in the San Francisco Opera's production of Mephistopheles. Dance fans will get a rare behind-the-scenes look into the genius of George Balanchine when some of his favorite ballerinas talk about dancing for Mr. B. He loved it when you could go beyond yourself, and I just felt as if I was soaring. There is something about dancing that resembles flying. That's March 30th on Great Performances. And watch for our major new series currently in production, The Dance Project, coming in 1992. 13 in a brand new decade. Our members, who are viewers like you, will help make programs like these all through the 90s. I hope that glimpse into our plans for the future inspired you to become a participant in that future. Have you called? Are you part of the process? There's really no gray area here. It's either yes or no. If you're not an active station supporter, if looking at that preview of what 13 will be bringing you in the future made you think, yeah, that looks good. Maybe I ought to tune in for those programs. Well, then you should also think about doing your part. You should act on that now. Right, not next week. The drive ends tomorrow. But as I said before, please don't wait for tomorrow. Call now, tonight. Our wonderful volunteers that you've been seeing here have all come down to the station, volunteered their time to answer your calls. All we ask you to do is go to your phone. You know, only one out of every 10, 13 viewers is a member. Are you one of the nine people that lets your friends and neighbors pay your way? And if you are, do you think it's really fair? It's time to pick up on the simple fact that public television is based on viewer support. No ifs, ands, or buts. So, Midge, how are we doing? Well, Candy, we're doing fairly well, but again, we could be doing better. Every one of these volunteers could be busy if you went to your phone and pledged your support. You know, Candy and I were talking earlier about Oklahoma, and that made me remember uh, when I first came to New York and I came here to 13 and I interviewed for my job with Jack Venza, who's the executive producer of Great Performances, which of course is produced by 13. And I said to Jack that as an Oklahoman, I was especially appreciative of the service that Great Performances provided because it brought to me uh, the opera, the drama, the music that was going on around the world and here in New York. It brought it to Oklahoma so that I could see what was going on in the world of theater. It's a very important service that we here at 13 provide. And we hope you understand how important it is and we hope that you go to the phone and pledge your support because you folks are the ones that make it possible. So please, if you haven't pledged your support, please do so right away. Uh, music programming depends on you here at 13. Climb aboard for a musical treat, the best family entertainment on Broadway. Meet me in St. Louis and climb aboard the 13 bandwagon at the same time. The show's producers have set aside a limited number of choice seats for 13 viewers who call our 800 number and make a credit card pledge of $150. We thank everyone at Meet Me in St. Louis for their generous help, and we'll thank you, too, with a pair of tickets for their wonderful show. Grand Hotel, the most exciting, most elegant, most sophisticated musical in town. It's Tommy Toon's grandest show, and its producers have made a very grand offer to 13. They've set aside a limited number of choice seats for us to offer during this campaign. You can reserve a pair as thanks for phoning our 800 number and making a $150 credit card pledge to 13. Our thanks to Grand Hotel for helping to welcome you into our 13 family. It's no salad. It's lettuce and lovage. The hilarious comedy by Peter Schaffer, author of Equus and Amadeus, and it stars Maggie Smith, now Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire, in a performance that's been the toast of London for over two years. Now it's coming to Broadway, and as thanks for your $200 pledge to 13, we'll send you a pair of choice tickets for the evening of May 30th, June 5th, June 13th, or June 27th. Call now to reserve your seat. Keep 13 your station of choice. We can't wait to see that. If you can afford $200, that's going to be a hot ticket. If it isn't already sold out, it will be soon. Remember, too, if you call right now and pledge, or if you call and decide not to pledge, we hope you do, though, of course, you'll be available for our Movado Watch sweepstakes. 
the end of the evening, we'll be giving away two Movado watches. They're each worth $350. The fine watch is really classic and, and quite uh, they're very elegant looking. And you'll be uh, eligible to win if you call and pledge. If you decide to call and not pledge, you're not required to pledge, but we hope you will for it, as I said. But if you decide to call and not pledge, you, you can wait until the program starts if you would. We want to keep these phones free for pledge dollars because that's why we're here. <clears throat> Pardon me, I've been talking so much I'm losing my voice. But that's okay if it gets you to call. Ah, somebody call because I'm losing my voice. I love that. Okay. Well, what's your reason for calling? Is it nature? Is it Masterpiece Theater? How about your kids watching Sesame Street? That's a good reason to join, isn't it? Listen, is that a wonderful way for your children to spend their time or what? And what about this kind of music program? If this is what you're enjoying and you want to let us know you like more of this in the future, call now. It's that way. This is two-way television. You let us know you're out there and you like this kind of programming. We listen. We give it to you in the future. Simple. So call us. Here's Jack. Here I am working with Donna and Midge and Candace Early. It's just a great job <laughs> of what? We'll be back at the next intermission. For now, we thank all of you who joined tonight. If you joined for the first time, welcome. If you renewed, thanks for sticking with us. You know, we try to do our best for you, and it's nice to get positive feedback. Now, as for the rest of you, there is still a little bit of time before the show starts. See it as a member. You know what you have to do? Do it. If you prefer, mail your check to 13. Box 1313, New York, New York, 10101.
Любопытно, что между представителями симфонической и джазовой музыки существуют почти такие же непримиримые противоречия, как между Западом и Востоком. Однако посмотрите, как слаженно музыканты симфонического оркестра украинского радио играют Моцарта вместе с Дэнни Гудманом, случайно заглянувшим на их репетицию. Оказывается, когда радушие и добрая воля берутся за дело, противоречия становятся не такими уж непримиримыми. Больше десяти тысяч человек собралось в киевском концертном зале, чтобы послушать программу Бенни Гудмана. Как видите, на Украине, как, впрочем, и других республиках, где побывали американские артисты, им не приходилось жаловаться на отсутствие интереса со стороны публики. Когда артиста хорошо встречают перед началом концерта, это еще можно отнести за счет рекламы. Но когда его провожают после концерта, так как провожали киевляне Бенни Гудмана, это уже другое дело. Ladies and gentlemen, the Benny Goodman Quartet. Louis Belton at the drum. Dick Hyman at the piano. and Slam Stewart at the base. Thank you. 
Now if you're feeling low down, don't know what to do. If you want to show down, me and you, oh boy. A flat foot bluesy with the fly, fly. A flat foot bluesy with the fly, fly. A flat foot bluesy with the fly, fly. A fly joy, fly joy, fly joy, fly joy, fly joy, fly joy, fly joy. There's a flat foot. A little bitty foot. A whole lot of foot. Pig's foot. Tender foot. Rabbit's foot. Athlete's foot. Wait a minute. A flat foot bluesy with the fly fly. A flat foot bluesy with the fly fly. A flat foot bluesy with the fly fly. Fly joy, 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 fly joy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I have come to just say a few words regarding uh, Benny uh, as part of what, who became part of my life uh, some years ago, not too far from here, as a matter of fact, just a couple of blocks. Yeah, and uh, First, I'd like, firstly, I'd like to say that uh, I, like you, the rest of you, adore what this man does. I think he's, without a doubt, the most consummate musician I've ever heard. Uh, sometime around 1941, somewhere like that, I don't, know, I don't remember exactly, but uh, very quickly, I was working in a, in a theater in New Jersey 
where we're speaking again. And uh, uh, I was told by the manager of the theater that many of the, uh, the uh, scouts from, uh, from all of the, the houses in New York, such as the Paramount, the Strand, the Roxy, and so on, Low State, in those days where they had vaudeville, and uh, that they had come to, to view me, the boy singer from the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra, and that uh, the commentary was the same in every case. They said, he's a band singer. And uh, then uh, a gentleman named Bob Whiteman, from, who managed the, the New York Paramount Theater, came to see me that he at the last performance at night, about 10 o'clock at night, and uh, uh, he called me at home at about midnight, and he said, how would you like to, this was on, on my birthday, as a matter of fact, on the 12th of December, he said, how would you like to open at the Paramount Theater on December th uh, 31st, New Year's Eve morning? Uh, I thought that's a pretty strange time to go open any place. But uh, uh, it, 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 uh, it was true. And he said, uh, we have a Crosby movie and, and uh, Benny Goodman and his orchestra. And then for 15 minutes, I fell on the floor and then said, I'd be delighted to take the job. Now, I must take a second to tell you that I, I think, I, I imagine that, that uh, Benny is a man who, well, I know now after knowing him these years, he's a very introverted man. He's quiet, he's sensitive, gentle, and uh, he didn't pay much attention to what had been happening outside of his world of music. And what was happening then was when the kids were falling down on the street and in the theater. And uh, consequently, he didn't know what to expect, and neither did I, I swear to you. I, I didn't expect anything like it. So the orchestra, uh, uh, there was another act on the bill and so on and so forth, and then and the Benny and the orchestra did uh, their version of Sing, Sing, Sing. And then he said, he turned around and he said, as I was standing in the, in the, in the little kind of disguised hut, he said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Frank Sinatra. And he turned around and gave a downbeat like this, and the, the biggest yell went up in the theater and it scared me and scared everybody in the room. And I, I was trembling at the time because this was my, my great chance. And with his back to the audience and his arms and upraised ready for a downbeat, he turned around and looked at nobody. He said, what the hell is that? <laughs> and then... Uh, I tell you, I tell you, in all honesty, if he hadn't done that, I would have shaken through three songs because <laughs> I was so frightened of being, being up there alone without the, 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 the Pied Pipers and 16 other singers and a big orchestra and all that jazz. But when he said that, he, I started to grin and I, uh, instead of uh, uh, fainting through the song, I laughed through two songs after that. <laughs> I left the two so first chorus of me and my gal and all those other things. But nevertheless, what I wanted to say is that uh, it was a wonderful way to, to, to break into our business in a, in, a, in a huge sense, you might say, which eventually became a huge sense, for which I'm very grateful uh, to many, many people. But, but particularly for Benny, because he said, what the hell is that? <laughs> God bless you, Benny, and keep playing. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. This is a very exciting night for me. One of my proudest moments in my whole career was uh, when I sang with the Benny Goodman Sextet, so it's great to be here. You know, there were a lot of ladies who sang with Benny, people like Helen Forrest and Ella Fitzgerald and Mildred Bailey. They all sounded fantastic, and how could you miss with Benny and his musicians backing you up? 
I'd like to single out three singers in particular. These three ladies are an inspiration to me. Helen Ward was the first singer to perform with the Goodman Band. She was there through the bad times when the band was struggling for success, and she was there when they had their first big success. Helen's gorgeous with a relaxed, sassy, swinging style that was very unusual in those days. A few years later, when Benny was doing his Camel Caravan radio show, he spotted a woman in the chorus. She was a Texas teenager, a cute blonde with a great voice. She joined the Goodman Band and became known as Lilton Martha Tilton. And then there was Peggy Lee. She was just a kid when Benny discovered her in Chicago in 1941, but what a performer. Peggy is a legend, an international star. She's a superb singer and a true musician. And she learned from Benny. So here's to the ladies. What a trio. These three tunes are dedicated to them. It's an honor to sing them for you. tables on me. Just 
like the sting of a bee. You turn the tables on me. No 
business, I know. Traveling through the country can be thrilling. Standing out in front on opening night. Smiling as you watch the theater filling. And as you're filling up there in life. There's no people like show people. They smile when they are low. Yesterday they told you you would not go far. I want you to think of your television as a video jukebox. Like a jukebox, you can enjoy the music other people pay for, or you can make your own selections by putting in a few coins. When you make a pledge to this public television station, you'll be choosing to see and hear programs like Benny Goodman Let's Dance. So if you're enjoying Let's Dance, support this station by making a pledge. I'm John Bartholomew Tucker, and thank you. I hope you've had a wonderful time tonight because we certainly have. But now we've got to get some business done. So if you've been having a good time and you love Channel 13, you know how to let us know that. Call us and tell us with your pledge for whatever amount you can afford. This is the final weekend of this pledge drive. We won't be here next weekend. Some of you are saying, well, that's good. But you know why we're here. We've got to do some business. Hopefully doing business with you. That's the whole idea behind public television. You, the public, you, the individual people out there watching these programs, have to come through with, with your support in order for this kind of program to continue in the future. There are a couple people who got the message. We've got a lot of phones here. A lot of these people have been here since about 4 o'clock this afternoon, and they're beat. But, you know, if you call them, it's going to cheer them up because they'll think, well, I didn't give up my Saturday night for nothing. We all feel that way. If you call us, it's all worth it. All the crew and all our guests here, it's all because of you that we're here. If you don't call and let us know you're out there, we feel like we're talking to the air out there. But I know there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of you, as Dr. Baker says, that are out there watching that love Channel 13. There are a few more people who got the message. There's somebody over there. Thank you, all of you who've already called. And now, here's Jack Perkins. Thank you, and I'm here with a uh, well, dear friend of 13's, and uh, we're finishing up this final Saturday of this major fundraising drive with, with the lovely Candace Early from all my children a lady not used to being up quite so late in the <laughs> evening so please make it worth her while by making a call candy well i'm delighted to be up this late and this evening for this cause it's a pleasure to be here i've been a member of 13 for a long time and if i can help to raise some funds for the shows i like and get my fellow viewers to pay their fair share i certainly want to be here but whatever the small price we have to pay to keep 13 on the air, even that minute amount has its reward. Isn't that right, Midge? Absolutely, Candy. And if I seem to be giving away the store at times, well, it's just that there's so many ways we want to say thanks for every pledge of support you at home make right now. For instance, pledge $100 or more right now and we'll send you as our thanks a brilliant sounding CD of classic hits from the 40s and 50s, all beautifully digitally remastered from the original track. For a pledge of $60 or more, you can have the same collection of the big bands on an audio cassette. Or, since this is the final weekend, we can make these offers, pledge $150 and then make a date for a Broadway night. Here's what I mean and the choice is yours. Grand Hotel, the most exciting, most elegant, most sophisticated musical in town. It's Tommy Toon's grandest show, and its producers have made a very grand offer to 13. They've set aside a limited number of choice seats for us to offer during this campaign. 
You can reserve a pair at Thanks for phoning our 800 number and making a $150 credit card pledge to 13. Our thanks to Grand Hotel for helping to welcome you into our 13 family. Climb aboard for a musical treat, the best family entertainment on Broadway. Meet me in St. Louis and climb aboard the 13 bandwagon at the same time. The show's producers have set aside a limited number of choice seats for 13 viewers who call our 800 number and make a credit card pledge of $150. We thank everyone at Meet Me in St. Louis for their generous help, and we'll thank you, too, with a pair of tickets for their wonderful show. Well, we had a spate of phone calls there, but there's a gal with a beautiful head of red hair up here still waiting for a phone call, and she has this look on her face to remind me of the way I used to feel when I was a kid, and I didn't get that special phone call. You remember how that felt. You were waiting for the special someone to call, and when you didn't get that call, you felt like a wallflower. Well, listen, we feel that way when you don't call. It's the truth, you know? We're sitting here waiting for you to call. There, I think she just she just got a phone call. Your phone, yeah, there she goes. She's not a wallflower. She's a real beauty, and she's got your call, so she's happy. What about the rest of you out there? Don't let us sit here holding the bag. Give us a call and let us know that you like this kind of programming. You'd like to see it continue. We've had so much wonderful music programming on during this festival. It's just been fantastic. We've been dancing around the studio, singing along. We were threatening to do songs from Oklahoma here a little while ago because Midge and Candy are both from Oklahoma. We were in a good mood, you know, because music makes you feel that way. But it's important for you to call and keep the momentum going for music programs in the future. Now, if all this fundraising activity is new to you at this time, you've never pledged before, here's a suggestion. Take advantage of our $40 introductory offer for first-time members only, and we'll send you our starter kit. We'll send you our delightfully informative program guide and schedule every month for a year, a membership card that doubles as a discount pass to 40 cultural institutions in the tri-state area, the always popular navy blue 13 coat, very elegant, and this special cable TV plan, which comes with every 13 membership, regardless of the level of your pledge. 13's March Festival of Programs will put you in the mood with that big band sound, the great pop favorites, and the king of swing himself, big bands and jukebox giants, and they're only part of Festival 13. And if you join 13 right now, you'll receive a free cable connection or a free upgrade to a premium channel or an additional set. The time was never better to join 13 and help keep what matters in sight. Thank you for all those suggestions, Midge and Donna. But folks, the best thanks we can give you, that would be more of the shows that you want. And we have less than 24 hours to raise the huge amounts of money that this station has to have to continue making and buying the kinds of shows that you expect from us here all through the rest of the year. That's what this festival is all about. And that's why all of us are here right now. So give us a call. Help us to pay what we can for the programs we want. Uh, that's right, Candy. And for those of you at home who are just tuning into 13, we are winding up this first fundraising drive of the 90s in 13's production studio. This is where, in this very room, where your membership begins and where your membership dollars, many of them will come to fruition. Because here is where we make a lot of the shows that you turn to us for. So I think it's only fitting that we welcome you as a new member in this production space which symbolizes the shows which carry the 13 label. Give us a call. Give us your membership pledge. And then make yourself at home because once you're a 13 member, this studio and, and all the production it represents belong to you in a very special way. We need you here, alongside us, more than ever before in the months ahead, so make that call now. Please. You know, we could easily fit 200 more people in, inside this room here, and that's our goal for the next few moments before the fabulous Glenn Miller special begins. 200 new members during this break so why don't you call, take us up on our offer. Here's where you rightly belong if you're watching right now, and especially if you turn to 13 for your program. We have just a few more hours left in this drive, and if we don't get that call from you right now, this broadcast center could close its doors. I'm serious. All that you've come to expect from us here could gradually drop out of your schedule. So make that call now, and share the cost of the programs that you watch on 13 with all the rest of us members. We give what we can every year because 13 gives us so much in return. But now, it's your turn. Make that call now. Midge? 
Thanks a lot, Candy. Well, I know a lot of you are patiently awaiting the announcement of the Movado Watch winners here on 13, and we're going to announce the names in just a few minutes. But we have to take just a little more time to get all those phone calls in, all those pledges of support. Again, we can't say this enough. It is a crucial time here at 13 because we are pressing forward to the final day of our pledge drive. We are behind. Uh, we approached the weekend 5,000 members behind. So we are counting on those of you who haven't gone to the phone to do so right away. We need you on board. It is vital that you give us a call. We say this a lot, but we really mean it. We're not asking you to break your budget. We're simply asking you to do your part, whether it's five, ten, forty dollars, one hundred dollars, one thousand dollars. All those pledge dollars add up to more great programming here on 13. And specifically this evening, we're talking about music programming. So if you love it, if you've come to count on it, now is the time to let us know in the strongest way possible with your pledge, which is, of course, a vote for more of this kind of programming. So keep these volunteers busy. It is late here at 13, but we're counting on you. Now let's take a look at Sunday night. What's going to be happening starting at night? see the room somewhere. Eliza Doolittle meets Victor Victoria, Mary Poppins, Maria Von Trapp, and thoroughly modern Millie. When everybody's favorite fair lady puts on a show. Baby, your home in my soul, together. It's Julie Andrews in concert, so you know it's going to be a great performance. with the sound of you. That Julie Andrews show looks terrific. The, the word is that it's a wonderful show, and I hope you'll be here watching as a member. I hope you've already called us and become a member, and if you have, we really thank you. If you haven't, we've got one quick reminder before we return to our musical tribute to Benny Goodman. If you haven't joined us before, why not start with our first-time membership? It's really easy. Well, thank you for taking that step with our 13 tote and our monthly program guide and your personalized membership card and discount pass and a TV cable offer good under certain conditions. Or plunge right in with a $60 pledge for an audio cassette of the big band sound or a marvelous CD of those same selections for a pledge of $100 or best of all, call for a pair of tickets to Broadway for a pledge of $150 or more to see either Grand Hotel or Meet Me in St. Louis. For $200, you can get two tickets to Lettuce and Lovage. All these thanks per month are just waiting for you in your car. Now here's Midge with the names of tonight's winners of our two Movado watches. Take it away, Midge. Thanks a lot, Donna. Before I announce the winners, I would like to take this moment to thank all of you who have phoned in with a pledge of support. Thank you, not only for your pledge of support, but also for your patience. You, above all, understand how important it is that we do come to you at this crucial time of the year and ask for your support. So thank you very, very much. And thanks to all our volunteers this evening. Uh, they have given of their time and energy because they believe in what we do here at 13. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, the winners of our Movado Watch sweepstakes for this evening. Uh, first, Madeline Palachi of Middle Village, New York. Congratulations. <laughs> and our second winner, Marjorie Weir of Glen Head, New York. Thank you very, very much for your telephone calls. And now over to Jack. Thank you, Candy Early, for being with us. Well, I have enjoyed it. I'm glad I was asked to be down here, and I hope that something we said tonight will inspire some people who have never joined 13 before to make themselves members now. And as Jack Benny used to say, we're a little late, folks. Good night. Farewell. One more thank you to tonight's vendors. We have uh, Slim's Bialis and Bagels to thank, uh, to thank, sorry, for feeding our volunteers, and Tavern on the Green for the delicious uh, sandwiches. Thank you all very much. And as Jack said, not just two seconds ago, good night.